All right, let's try another endless here. So the reason, it's the idea of like, a, so for example, there are some lands I did not proxy last night. Because there are lands that cost $1,000 to $3,000 each. And it's just like, it's one of those, it's like, if I proxy those, if I can ever, you know, it, it's just, it they're that much money because there are certain mechanics in the game that make them worth that much money. Like, like they have a unique name or something like that. You know, in that, you know, like, uh, you'd only have one of each card in a commander deck, so it's like a, a, a great dual land that has no penalty. You know, that kind of shit. So, uh, I didn't proxy those. It was funny, like, I remember early on having a game, and I don't, I don't think anyone was, like, actual mad. It was just giving shit. But I remember Cobalt being like, oh, I got some proxies in this deck. Like, y'all cool with it? And we were like, yeah, I don't give a shit. And then he, yeah, then he played, like, a fucking thousand dollar card. We are like, go fuck yourself. And he was like, I own it. I'm like, honestly, that does make it feel better. <laughs> if you actually own the card, that makes it feel better. But if I were to just be to my friends like, hey, guys, I made a uh, $25,000 deck with my printer. I'm going to play it against your guys' decks that you, like, spent 100 real dollars on. I can see that getting frustrating so fast. Yo, what's up, though? But yeah, I did. I, I mostly wanted to proxy my... Uh, my... <sighs> Some of the dual lands that aren't even that good are like 25 bucks each. <laughs> and I find myself, so like last night I was putting decks together and upgrading them, and I realized, I was like, okay, I've got 20 commander decks right now. 20. And like five of them are playable. Every other one of them is between 99 and 98 cards because I've swapped something to another deck. Kind of Rumo? I don't know. I feel like it would... I feel like there's a bit of a... There's so many cards in Magic that I feel like part of the fun is like making it fit with what you got. But, at the same time, like... I don't know, I've had decks where I've been like, Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy this like $18 card and put it in. And like, what would have been the difference if I just printed the $18 card? And I think the difference is... It would be a quick road to, well, let me print this $30 card and this $50 card and this $100 card. And then suddenly my deck is just crazy. Like, I think that's where the the pricing and ownership does kind of, like, put a a bit of a power limit in. Kind of? But not really still. Yeah, hell yeah, Bo. I'd love to have you playing. Oh, a Varrican DY. Sorry, we just got into Domekeeper, but I am still big time just talking magic. Do I? Do I sound like the kind of guy who would scan 5,500 cards and type their name in one by one? I am. <laughs> 5,307 cards in my collection, digitally cataloged. Don't be excited when that says $7,911. That is if every, that is if I was paid full price for everything, including like like thirty five to fifty cents for a common. You know. That said, I got some nice stuff. If I sort by value, these are these are the big cards, which are also the, this is the front page of my uh, book, my my binder, are these cards. Uh, and I'm not playing Orcish Bowmasters is in my elves deck. Doubling season is in Slimefoot. Parallel Lives is in Slimefoot. I don't know where Roaming Throne is. But yeah. I also use this to keep track of all my decks. And this is where I keep track of... Uh, like, this is how I can see my Elves deck is at 98. Wacky Dice deck I changed. My Dice deck got a full rework last night, and I'm ready to play it again. <clears throat> Bellow is at 102 cards, which isn't right either. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I'm starting to upgrade the Stella Lee deck, but so far I've done no actual upgrades to it. Uh, big Nasty Frogs I'm working on. I'm so happy with my budget vamps. This is my budget deck, and if you were to go buy this deck right now, it would cost you apparently $27.98 at the moment. It was cheaper, I swear to God. Still under $30, though. Uh, but yeah. This all my decks. I set the ones to private that are either un unfinished or like 
Like this one is just, it's a pre-con that I don't play ever. And it's just so I can see what I've ripped out of it against with Foot Boots Heroic Intervention. But yeah, they release a lot of sets. I want to say it's like every two months. If not, like sometimes every six weeks. The next set is Duskmorn. Spoilers came out for it yesterday. I didn't look at them yet. But uh, it is a horror themed set. And I'm extremely excited about that. Yeah, I did see, or at least my friends were talking about the spoilers last night while we were playing Magic. And it uh, they did sound extremely cool. Yeah, Duskmorn does look really cool. So I have to remember, I gotta really focus on upgrading my weapon on this one. And then we gotta get to Parasitic. There are a lot of cards coming out now. I just want, I want to do some more magic stuff. I'm looking forward to the next time there's a magic event in Richmond. Like, I know this is a city that gets them. And it's a shame that I, like, just missed Star City Games Fest. I love that, though. <laughs> Hi, Chibli Chibli. That emote is so fucking good. It's insane. It's fucking insane how good it is. Just out of control. It really is. It really and truly is. No, I feel that too, Avarica. If Commander feels like the kind of game that I don't think it would be super fun with, like, pure randos. I think it would just feel kind of weird. Like, it would have to be randos that you were playing with the intention of becoming their friend, you know? Hey, what's up, Happy Dingo? Like, I do know, like, CEDH exists, though. The competitive Commander shit. Which I do think is cool. There is the part of me that like would love to try some CEDH, but that's when you're like, well, I need my deck to cost uh, three thousand dollars to be competitive in this space. Yeah, Rocket Whale. I, I really everyone I met at the fucking Bloomboro pre-release was so cool, and I've met cool people since I've gone back to draft too. But it has been, I hit the point, and I feel bad. Like I don't know. I hit the point where I was like, okay, I'm going out and I'm drafting. This is fun. But I think I'm having fun because I like drafting. This doesn't feel social. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not having a social time right now. I'm playing magic with strangers and like one out of every 3 will talk to me. <laughs> like I definitely had a few matches where there was zero small talk. Zero. Just playing the match against the person, like not even a hello. And I'm a fuck, I'm a yapper. I love yapping. And there was, I, like, I don't know, my last Friday Night Magic, of all the games I played, I had, like, a, I, I had one guy who wanted to chap a lot. Uh, chap a lot. To chat a lot. But also, our matchup ended really quick because I had really lucky draws and I was playing a fast deck. So the one person who wanted to talk to me, I beat in, like, six minutes. <laughs> and then I just sat outside and vaped and looked at my phone for an hour, you know? But yeah, I, I hit a wall where I was like, okay, this this doesn't uh, feel social. Jesus, that's so fast, Rocket. But yeah, I also, I feel so awkward. Like, there's a Discord for the shop I've been going to. And I went in there, and I've posted several times now being like, hey, if anyone wants to, uh, if any of y'all got commander pods at the spot, would love to play. I've got a ton of decks, all sorts of power levels, everything from pre-cons to budget decks to what I am told would be a competitive deck. Just, uh, just looking to play. And then people would just, like, talk right past that shit. I'd be like, alright. Though the LG, it's fucking super active, it's just no one wants to talk to it. It's very active with people who are friends with each other. When they've got their groups and their pods. Man, it feels so awkward to just con to keep posting like, "Hey, anyone got a anyone got a pod with room in it?" And just just nothing. And then someone will post like an hour later, being like, 
Yo, need a pod tonight? Anyone got room? And someone will be like, yeah, I got you. And I'll be like, alright, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> I guess. None of you people know who I am, so... Why would you prioritize me for your pod? So... Like, like, I'm not friends with you, so that's okay. I, I, try, I try to take it personally. No, they don't. They definitely don't know who I am <laughs> at all. That isn't to say like they don't know who I am. Like I, I, I don't think I am much of anyone, but I say that positively. I want to play Commander now too. I put in my Discord earlier of my pals who play Magic. Like if a, I'm gonna be streaming for the next like five six hours at least. If any of y'all want to play a Commander game, let's get uh, four of you who want to play. Let's do this. And I. I don't think my ass got a single, a single motherfucker. I know some people said they might be around today. We'll see. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I've got the festival in a box coming. And there was a part of me that... I, I saw uh, Tularian Community College's video about how it's like... The most fun set to draft... And it's such a tragedy that uh, it's not going to be sold in stores because people aren't going to get to draft it. And I was like, shit, I should hang on to a box to draft it for a special occasion. Part of me wants to get a second box, but it's bullshit. It sucks. The boxes are great, but the only way to get them are either to go to a festival or to get it from Secret Lair, but it's bundled with a bunch of extra Secret Lair shit, which is fine. But it's like, I want a second box, but I don't want to spend like 400 bucks. I don't need all the extra bullshit. I just want the box. <laughs> but I've got my one box ordered, and that's fine. I don't need to fucking spend more. <clears throat> I figure I would personally like to get at least one Dusk Duskmorn box, and then I figure I figure it wouldn't be an awful taste to throw a dono bar up for some boxes when a new set comes out. And if I hit them, I open them all on stream, and we have fun with it. And if people aren't interested, they just won't do it. And, like, that's fine. You know? I think I think as long as I'm not fully paywalling shit, I could live with myself. You know? If I'm sitting there going, well, I'm going to open a box, and if y'all want to give me some extra money, I'll open two. You know? I think that feels good. I don't feel bad about that. That passes the sellout sniff test in my head. <laughs> They are definitely banking a lot on the FOMO with it. Although, like, from what people saw at Gen Con, it looks like it's... I don't know if there's a full card list out, but the cards that people know are in it are pretty fucking... It looks so good. Yeah, it's the mystery box, too. And it's because there's so much variety. I want to say there's over a thousand cards in it. And, uh... It's a crazy list. There is a full list out, okay. But yeah, it's like... it. At least in in professor in the professor's video about it, they uh, one of the points they touch on is that since there's so many cards that span such a range of sets and like rules and stuff, and like it's just a really it's almost like a curated cube. It's like a curated little cube draft. And since there's so many cards, it's like no two drafts would be the same. And no one's gonna get to draft it. <laughs> That's sad. That sucks. I think each pack has one test card. And I think, in general, the test cards don't like... Like, I think they're fun little novelty, but I don't think people really care too much about them. There are some that are, like, goofy. In terms of, like... Like, borderline playable, if not substitutable for a playable card. No, no, there's only ever... I think each pack has one test. And they're usually funny and goofy. But those aren't the, those are like, just kind of like a fun little bonus. It's that, that's instead of a token, you get that, you know? That's the way I looked at it. Yeah, no, that's fair. I will say it does feel bad to like, there's the part of me that does feel a little bad about like supporting, uh, a system I don't necessarily like. But it just feels like the only option is to just uh, not engage with it at all then. And like I want to engage with it. But yeah, it does stink. 
I do not like the idea. It's fun, like, you know, for all I was saying before about how it, the the cost of cards is kind of like a way to self-regulate people's power level. It, like, it really isn't, because then at that point you're just saying, like, well, if you're rich, then you get to have a strong deck. And that sucks. It does suck. Like, I really like the idea of, like, people having access to a game like this, even if they don't have the money. That's why I'm very, uh, fucking... Big ups to fucking Chet from the Chapo FYM crew. I saw on Twitter, I was flipping through the Twitter stories, and I saw him doing the, uh, you know, the, like, the gamer, the go-karts that they put in children's hospitals, where it's just, like, a mobile gaming setup. Those things are sick as fuck. And he was at, uh, he was at a children's hospital installing them. A good group of fucking dudes. But like, I feel like that's that like I feel like that's related, you know. That's like, I think kids having access to games or people having access to entertainment in general is really important. You have more Lurks, you have to twenty-eight months. Have your come flowing. Thank you. Go for fights. Make the difference. Keep thank you. Thank you. I'm sure every single one of you <laughs> can relate to like probably having met some of your best friends on here, or just the internet in general. And like having access to that kind of stuff is. Uh, I think huge for kids who might otherwise be pretty socially shut off from the world. And I think, like, uh, I don't know. I could see magic being along the same lines, like... Yeah, brother! Everyone should have, have access to it. It's like a nice, fun little social thing for kids to do, and ever well for anyone to do, but you know. Historian, happy 63 months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. God, I remember before I started doing the streaming shit, I remember a thing I used to think about often. And like, in like a semi-slimy way, I guess. Because it was always with the air of like, this would be a good business idea. This is when I was younger and like, horrifically broke. Like, super, super, super broke. Uh... But I remember always thinking, like, damn, yeah, there's no, like... Well, at first, I was like, oh, I want to open a venue when I'm older. I want to open a spot for all ages shows when I'm when I'm older. Because I had the experience growing up of being a, a music lover. And every time, you know, every few months, the place you were seeing shows at would get shut down or sold or stop doing shows or whatever. And it, you know... And then before long, the only places doing shows are like bars where you have to be fucking 21 or like really expensive corporate venues. And I remember throughout my entire like teenage years and a lot of my 20s too being like, yeah, I would love to open a venue. Open a venue, open, have like a little restaurant in it, have like a multi purpose space. And then that started evolving into my head to like, just have a fucking community center. It'd be cool to just open like, 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 fuck, the only, I think the only reason me and my friends drank alcohol as children is because there was nothing else to have do. Have you come flowing, <laughs> go for fights, make the difference. Corn cob Maestro. Happy four months, thank you. Thank you. Like, the only things to do as a kid, at least in my town, growing up, was like, kind of like, walk around the streets and like, just like, fucking shoot the shit, like, uh, a little library would be so cute. I have to check out the libraries here in Richmond. I know we got at least one very nice one. Yeah, fuck yeah, Chib. But I said, Chib, Chibli, let's open a little cafe and we could have bands play and, like, let artists, like, host their spaces there. Uh, I want to do it so bad. This is the kind of city for that. There's, there's spaces like that in this city, and I love that. I gotta find them. Yeah, fuck yeah, Chib. We give, uh, we, we give lessons in, uh, fuck, what was the Photoshop alternative? GIMP. Is GIMP still the Photoshop alternative? Is that still what people are using? Or has something dethroned it? Yes? Oh god, I forgot it was fight time. Use Pixar. I used, uh, I used GIMP when I worked at a warehouse. And it was funny, because, so it was a warehouse that... For anyone who never heard me yap about that job, really fun job. I had a TLDR, my buddy's younger brother, who was also my buddy, but I knew I knew his brother first, so you know. <laughs> 
but my buddy's younger brother started a novelty t-shirt business in like the early 2000s and they and they sold like i keep like i know one of the big ones was the fucking like uh like jesus saves and it's like jesus in a goalie like jumping after a soccer ball and like a couple other uh like small novelty shirts that he would like you know people He'd make a couple sales and he'd go screen print them like the whole uh, fucking his brother I knew his brother because he was in a ska band that was on my ska record label that he actually ran with me It's my buddy My buddy Jason from the high school football heroes. He ran that label with me, but uh His brother started the t-shirt place <coughs> Then he started work as it grew and like actually needed like a warehouse and shit, which was crazy. It was like, holy shit, <laughs> like you're actually turning this into a business past uh I made a couple funny shirts for my friends to buy. You remember the football heroes? They're my boys. I uh God, fucking so their their bassist, Chris, was the bassist for Barnaby Jones. So he he passed away last year, unfortunately. But it's always I every time I talk about the football heroes, I get like a thousand fond memories that rush to me of them. But uh anyway, not to not to make it bummy. Uh, but they, they were on my Sky record label too. Anyway, uh, Jason started working for his brother and then Joey, the drummer for the football heroes also started working for his brother. And it's funny. Remember when I was talking about how I used to have land parties and we would just do like web design, like we'd play games too, but like it would literally be just a bunch of us like doing fucking flash coding and. Like, we'd set up an FTP server and do a bunch of file sharing. It was with those guys. Like, like I most of what I learned about computers and design was because of Joey and Jason. Mostly, like, Joey was, like, a fucking just... Chris, too. Like, uh, all those guys were so smart. Uh, but anyway. It was very funny to me because, like, you know, like I, I think I also learned how to pirate through those guys. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like... And I found it so funny when at work I had to t I had to do background removal to uh, put up a bunch of thumbnails and new products on the web store. And uh, it was funny. Last time I told the story, we looked and I was like, "Yeah, those are the thumbnails I made. That's funny." But uh, they're, they're still there. But uh, I remember being like, "Oh, I'll just I'll just bring a copy of Photoshop." And he was like, "Nah, we can't do that." And I was like, "For real?" He was like, "Dude, we're trying to be a legit business." If somehow Adobe found out that we were using cracked Photoshop for this stuff, we would just get sued into dust. And I was like, you know, that's a good point. I'll install GIMP. <laughs> Decay coefficient. Happy 34 months. Thank you. So I did all my background removal with GIMP. That was such a fun job, though. That was a... Everyone who worked there was a friend or a friend of a friend. There wasn't a single, like, stranger who worked there. So it just fucking rocked. It was a... It was a damn party. All right, I think I should get. Uh, quick shot for sure. Send in two more Doritos home. And I think I should do these. That's all I could do for that. Two and eight, huh? I'm getting this because I need it. And then I'm going to send some of these home. I'm going to be a little greedy about it. It's not even time yet. Why am I in there? I can't really go do anything else right now. Actually, there might be stuff hiding in here. I got to upgrade my drill. No shit of Erica. It drives me nuts that I pay for them as much as I pay them. <laughs> I do have to switch to other stuff. The only reason I haven't is convenience. Good morning, Papang boy. What's up? But yeah, I use Photoshop every day. And I use Adobe Premiere every few days. Y'all, oh, let's go. <laughs> Get 
God. The very first copy of Photoshop I used was a... I want to say it was Photoshop 3.0. And I took it from the high school's uh, AutoCAD lab. And I brought it home and installed it and then brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my brain won't stop saying a Bobby Bodo shop. It won't stop. It makes no fucking sense. It's not a thing. Bo <laughs> a Bobby Bodo shop isn't real. That's, uh, my cat Boba's, uh, 24-hour photo that he owns, <laughs> even though he's a cat. Well, help that drill a little bit, you know. Yeah, that's fair, Fuego. That is fair. You think, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you think I'm uh, possessed right now? Nah, DBJ stream was so fucking good yesterday. Unbelievably good stream. I gotta use fucking... The, the way Pat's production on that was incredible. And I gotta pick Pat's brain and make this stream look nicer. <laughs> I gotta pick Pat's brain on that shit. That shit looked beautiful. It was a hilarious stream too, don't get me wrong. But it also looked phenomenal. And uh... I'm a big nerd for that shit. Big reason why I fucking really like everything now, show. I lurk too much there. I gotta start fucking chatting. I'm always so impressed by uh, the stuff everything now, show. Is able to do on the fly. <laughs> I wanna... I... I... I'm always happy whenever I can mingle some of the NLSS crew with some of the Goo crew. Because I just think they're all funny, nice people. That's part of why I was so psyched with side quests. Like, Bear really has a fucking hit with side quests. That shit is so fun. It's fun to be on. It's fun to watch. It's easy to be on as a streamer, which I think is huge. I think if you're a streamer, that's Bear handing you content on a silver platter for your stream. You know? It's such a fucking good idea. Hi, Mom. How you doing? Good morning. I was just talking earlier about uh, going up to New York in November. Easier. Like, to be on? I guess to be on it. Well, nah, that shit was stressful. <laughs> to run? Yeah, I mean, it's easier when you're just dealing with the same pool of people, for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be nice, Mom. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, brother! Yo, Revan Malak. Thank you for continuing your gifty. Appreciate it. But yeah, I, uh, I'm so happy that Bear Show is as fun and cool as it is. I'm really looking forward for him doing another season. But I'm glad, too, that it's, it, it, uh, that I'm psyched. I, I reached out to Bear, like, right as, like, you know, episode one. And I was like, hey, man, if you need help reaching out to anyone or need ideas for people, like, I, I know plenty of folks who I think would be so funny on this. And uh, he was like, no, please. <laughs> so I immediately just started, like, DMing all the streamers I know. Like, the Goo Crew straight up watched. Like, I, I, I was linking it to them episode one, being like, y'all gotta watch this. This is great. And it was great, so everyone liked it. <laughs> I have to, uh, I gotta work on my game show. I have to, like, take some time and actually work on that. My problem is, every time I have free time, I feel like I have to clean my house. Or play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Note I said have. I have to. I'll die if I don't. Oh, don't do 
hit me. Alright. Uh, I'm going down that hole. I need to get more iron uncovered because I really gotta upgrade my drill. My drill is horrible. I got a horrible drill here. Oh god, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's just two devils, but one is more devilish. I like that. I'm the devil and the second the devil on your shoulder. But yeah, I have to. Uh, I I need to. Uh, I need to schedule maintenance time for stream. It is always that I go. Oh, I'm gonna deal with like off-stream stuff whenever I have the time, and that works most of the time. Like it's not. I don't think it's the worst way to do things. But that is how I fell behind on YouTube there for a bit. Is I had no free time for a few days to make the thumbnails and schedule. Or, like it just. Like I'm sure I could have made the free time, but I was busy doing other stuff, so it just never even occurred to me. That's where I gotta schedule that kind of stuff. Otherwise, I do that shit. My ass still hasn't found anything, huh? I think I gotta go back. Oh. Uh, if you should listen to mom, I haven't had barbecue in so long. I'm dying for barbecue. <laughs> There's a great place in Richmond. At least I think it's great. ZZQ. But the one time I went there, was when I was getting my hair cut by my buddy. And I remember saying to him, I was like, man, I was like, I want to go eat something, but I don't know where to, where to go. And I named the place. I think it was the Pinkies, for anyone who knows it, if you're a Richmonder. But I was like, oh, I think I might go check out Pinkies. And he was like, dude, Pinkies is good, but it's expensive as hell. He was like, you're gonna spend that kind of money. Uh, you ever go to ZZQ? And I was like, no. And he's like, oh, dude, you gotta go to ZZQ. So I went, and and I was even like, oh shit. I was like, yeah, no, I've heard of ZZQ, but I'm just never uh, like I'm never in the city at that time, and I know they sell out quick. And I'm like, well, hot shit. It's uh, it's like 1 p.m. on a Wednesday, so ain't no way they'll be sold out. I walk in, the guy immediately is like, brother, what you see is what you get. We've got almost nothing left. And I went, oh no. <laughs> and I was like, and I, I told him, I was like, damn, this is my first time here. Like, I, I'm just never able to get here on time because uh, y'all sell out so fast. You got to stop being so good. And then he was like, listen, we still got some stuff. He was like, uh, he was like, if you don't mind uh, letting me pick what you get, uh, I could just put something together for you. And I was like, please. I was like, Whatever you want. He was, he was like, I will make you what I would make myself. And he made me an insanely good brisket sandwich. Uh, I can't remember what all was on it. I have a picture of it somewhere, because I remember posting it and being extremely happy. But he made me a really good brisket sandwich with a side of green beans and mac and cheese. And uh, I think there were just some sausages, too. It was just a bunch of random shit, really. The sides were okay. But, like, I'm not going to a barbecue place for their sides, typically. The brisket was phenomenal. Phenomenal brisket. Really good brisket. Really? Shit. I gotta check into that. There was a barbecue place I was in love with. It was called The Feed Store. It was up in Maidens, Virginia. Anyone who's been watching the stream for a bit may have seen me stream from there, which I did several times. Uh, and the feed store, I can't remember the guy's name, and I feel like a prick too, because he was super nice. It was him and his wife owned it and worked there, and one of their friends also worked there with them. They were great people. Uh, and they're still great people. <laughs> they're, they're, still, they're still around, however. So he, the story I had heard about him was that he was uh, the head chef of a very prominent Richmond restaurant. I can't remember which one. But, uh, like a very, like one of the top Richmond restaurants. He was the, the guy. And, uh, he got fed up with the restaurant business and just left. And then he moved out to the country. And by the country, I mean, like, you know, 
30 minutes outside of the city, maybe 40 minutes outside of the city. And uh, bought a little place on the side of the highway and decided to start making and selling barbecue. And it was phenomenal. It was so good. And it was like, it was just a small, unassuming place, middle of fucking nowhere. And like, any friends who came to visit here, anyone I took there for the most part was like, holy shit, <laughs> like, this is insane that this exists here. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> like, this is fucked up. It was so, so good. And it was a cute little place. They were so nice. I did have the benefit of, like, I would usually go with my buddy JR, who was friends with them, like, friends with everyone there. So they would just come out, they would bring us random shit to eat. One of the best things I ever had was... Uh, we, we were there, we got brisket. And then they brought out, they were like, they were like, I know this might sound like, you know, a little fucked up, but we made kimchi, put it on the brisket, and gave us a thing of homemade kimchi. It was fucking nuts with the brisket. They had homemade barbecue sauces. God, I miss that place. But yeah... I got a I got a text from my buddy JR like a year ago now, maybe a year and a half ago. And the air of it, I thought someone died. The text was something like, hey man, have you looked at Instagram today? And I went, oh fuck, who's dead? Because like that's happened. We're getting older. That's a text I've gotten that sounds exactly like that. And I look at Instagram and a friend of mine has passed away. I open Instagram and the first post I see is that the feed store closed. And I almost started crying. I was like, take one of my friends instead. <laughs> Why, God? <laughs> yeah, heartbreak. But the, po like, like, the post they posted was just like after, you know, it was like after 18 years working in the restaurant industry and, uh, you know, doing it every which way possible we've decided we no longer want to work in the restaurant industry. Uh, there will be no last day. We are closed as of right now. Uh, we love you all. Thank you. And that was it. And I was like, oh, no. I heard rumors that they still might do the occasional pop-up. That's what they did before they opened that spot. So I have to keep my eyes open and see if they're ever doing a pop-up in the city. And I will cancel anything to go. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sad it closed. That said, ZZQ is still really good. <laughs> it wasn't as good, though. But it was really good. Oh my god, I love that. I love that so much, uh, Shizzle. That's phenomenal. Oh. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta ask. I, my buddy is giving me a haircut on Friday, I think. And so, uh, sorry, I was reading the text and I completely forgot what I was saying. Like I 100% lost my train of thought. Uh, Smokey, I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Oh yeah, my buddy is cutting my hair on Friday. And I'm going to remember to ask him about the feed store folks and be like, yo, what are they up to? <laughs> and see if he knows anything. I love getting my hair cut there. I got some other friends who work there too. And like, it's just a very chill spot in general. I always feel, I feel bad. <laughs> I love a place like this. Like it, it is, even if it wasn't my friends working there, I th I would still love this place because I love a place where everyone is just talking and cracking jokes at each other and like just just random conversation. Like it's a straight up barber shop. It is a barber shop that feels like a barber shop. Uh, and that rocks. And I always feel so bad when I'm like waiting to get my hair cut and like. My buddy will be cutting someone's hair or like just, you know, maybe there's not a lot of conversation going. So I just start talking to people and like the people getting their hair cut. I could tell her just sitting there awkwardly being like, just don't talk to me. Just please stop talking. Like, I, like you can just tell that they don't want to be social. They, they're not handling the situation well. And I think, I don't know. I think it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Love a good video. Do I go Parasitic Jones yet? Eh, I don't think yet. <laughs> only a little late to Gertz. Only a little. Smoky Mug. I'm going to look it up real quick because I'm, I'm interested. I'm going to look on the maps just so I can see where in the city it is. I will say, I don't, I don't get to the north side super often. I'm assuming it's in like Churchill. There's a lot of good food in Churchill. Smoky Mug. The Smoky Mug. That shit is nine miles away from me. Wait. Nah, that's gotta be for... Yeah, I was gonna say, ain't no way. That shit is like 15 miles away from me. I don't know where my phone thought I was. Yeah, that is a straight up north side, huh? What is this near? Do I know any other shit over here? I only ever went to Northside. My buddy used to live in Northside, but he doesn't anymore. But that was the only time I ever used to go up to Northside. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other... I'm not seeing other restaurants up there that I know. Huh. I gotta get around more, too, though. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Oh, no, I love I love a good yapping. A tired yapping, it's the damn best. Oh, I've got my first person who said they could play magic today. Yes. It's happening, it's happening. <laughs> yeah, north side is very residential. It's funny, the north side is, uh, as I understand it, where a lot of the uh, a lot of the violence takes place, as I understand it. Don't use a Dorito. They used a Dorito. No, they didn't use a Dorito. Don't fucking hit me. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh my god, that was scary. Okay. We need a... Ah, fuck, I don't want to get... Mm. I'm going to get the added health, I guess, first. But it's funny, I get such mixed things from folks in Richmond. In terms of uh, people's perceptions on good and bad areas. As far as I've seen, I feel like the only like the only true area I like just wouldn't like fuck with <laughs> would be like right at the uh, ever calls them the courts. I wouldn't go specifically right to the courts because it does seem like there's a shooting there daily. But uh, past that. Just feels like any other city, for the most part, from what I felt, or from, from what I feel. I apologize, by the way, folks, today, if I'm a little flighty and I'm talking poorly, <laughs> because, as I have noted earlier, uh, I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule, and so I did not uh, really go to sleep last night. And by that, I mean I didn't go to sleep last night. <laughs> That's what I didn't really go to sleep last night means. It, it, re it really just means I didn't go to sleep. Uh, so I'm a little tired. I took a tiny nap. But, uh, boy, was that a tiny nap. I am chilling. Oh, I'm having a little uh, sour watermelon madrinas right now. Madrinas are so damn sweet. I, uh, like as people, I don't mean... I feel like that sounded like I drank that and went, Oh, this is so damn sweet. <laughs> No, like as I uh I got a package yesterday. And uh it was just all the recent exclusives. And that's cool. They they don't have to do that. They're not obligated to do that for me. And it wasn't expected either for me. Like I know I can request things, but uh a huge box with a lot of like a lot of cool shakers. I got the Rainbow Six box. <laughs> Not even asked for. 
But yeah, I, I really appreciate that. Alright, did I already get this? I did get one level of this, okay. So we don't have any more heals, which is scary, to say the least. Let's just hope... Well, we do have plenty of health, though. And I do have... Oh, I shouldn't have put that out, because now it's just going to waste on these pricks. Oh, well, this guy is going to uh, kick our shit in. over in this town. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the iridescent shaker, Rini. That is also one of my faves. I'm using the roller coaster tycoon one again today. I really like that one too. As a as a roller coaster tycoon fan. Yeah, the lingering electro ball is so good. I'm gonna I'll go down a couple here and go back. Got to be some resources here somewhere. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Planet Coaster too. It's so funny when I was looking at my uh, so I just had my 10 year partner anniversary. And we were looking at my Twitch stats from over the last 10 years, but Twitch only started tracking in November of 2016. Uh, so my most played game of 2016 is Planet Coaster by leaps and bounds, but that's because that's when that came out. <laughs> and it only tracks those uh, two months of 2016. But I remember going to my stats and being like, Number one most game played Planet Coaster? What the fuck? And then I realized, I'm like, oh yeah, because it only is literally just six weeks of the year. And I played that game for about five weeks when it came out. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, I really like Planet Coaster. Looking forward to Planet Coaster too, for sure. Is there a release date on that? Uh oh, what do I get? I think I'm going to get them persistent orbs. Fuck, I keep forgetting I want to get uh, this upgrade. Sometime in the fall, no exact date yet. Word. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm trying to think what other games I'm, I have to look forward to right now. I'm never good at following release schedules or anything. Every game release that comes out is always a surprise to me. <laughs> Unless it's like insanely hyped. Like, like Elden Ring I knew was coming out. Core Keeper does look cool. I have a key for it too. I have to check it out. I always meant to and just, and just never have. Oh fuck. Kinda of forgot about those guys. But I gotta kill this prick. Satisfactory is coming out soon, and that was a game that I said, I was like, yeah, whenever it hits 1.0, I'll play it. Alas. The, the time has come. September 10th, no shit, that's, that's like in a week. What the hell, I got something on September 10th, and I don't know what it is. But you said September 10th, and I went, ah, yeah, the thing I have on September 10th. And then my immediate thought was, oh no. I've been trying to be better about using a calendar, though, so I'm gonna look. What is Raven's Watch, Ryan? What's up, by the way? How you doing? Ah, cardiologist follow-up on the 10th. 9-11 <laughs> Eve, that's right. I gotta put uh, milk and cookies... ...somewhere. Co-op roguelike Diablo? Oh, no shit! Or co what? I haven't heard of this. The fuck? That sounds wonderful. That's like the most up-my-alley shit I've ever heard. Oh, Core Keeper is a multiplayer game. I don't really know a lot about Core Keeper. I don't even know what kind of shit it is. 
I will say, Ryan, some I had a first time chatter today say that uh they've been loving the uh Justin and Ryan content. And I was like, hey, thank you. It's a hit. It's a hit with the people. <laughs> so if you're trying to play uh fucking Raven's Watch, I keep wanting to say Raven's Swatch. Do Clank fucking rocks. It is very funny to me that I feel like Brian presented Clank as like a joke. Am I right about that? I feel like you were kind of like half seriously suggesting we play Clank in a way that you're going to be like, no one's going to want to fucking play Clank. And we were all like, yeah, let's fucking play Clank. I think it was genuinely presented as like a, like a silly little imagine that, right? <laughs> I think that's correct. I've seen people say that skeleton milk. I hear Doom Imperium is like crazy good. I, oh god. I think it would be a funny bit for me to do a uh, a board game stream. Uh, but it's like just an insanely long board game. Like, I don't, I don't even know what would really qualify. But like, just like 16 hours of playing a fucking game, you know, like, like, like the world's longest game. A game like Clank is perfect for banter. It's fucking great. Cause like, the turns don't require an immense amount of thought. Uh, you just fucking, and like, and because of that, it's not like you need everyone to shut up to, like, focus on what you're going to do. Like, you, you just do what you're going to do, and everyone else can yap. It's perfect. It's great. You fuck each other over a little bit with a dragon. It's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I can't believe I'd never heard of that game. That's what's got me fucked up. Like, I never even, never even heard of this shit? I had to get to that before a drone stole that shit. I keep saying shit. Axis and Allies. God, I never played that. I always heard of it. Oh, I can't put that in yet. I've had some insanely long games of Risk. I can't remember what rules we were playing Risk with, but it lent itself to really long games. I think we might have been playing with because I'm pretty sure the normal Risk rules are that like 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 you can't you can't like piggyback troops across places. Like you can move from one place to one place. And that shit made games of risk go a long time. Any more wingspan in the near future? Would be nice. We'll see. It seems like there's a handful of folks who want to play it. I think Ryan mentioned maybe wanting to take it for a spin again at some point. While we were playing it, I had Luke in chat saying that he loves it and owns it. I was like, fuck. I play with Luke. I love Luke. I'm not afraid to say it, folks. I love Luke. I think I want the power drill. It's just too good. It's too good to not get immediately. Yeah, it's fun. What, uh, I was shocked at the amount of people in chat who were saying that, like, oh yeah, Wingspan, that's like a beloved family game for me. I'm like, for real? Never heard of this shit. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just, it never occurred to me that families could play, like, uh, board games that aren't, like, Monopoly. <laughs> you know? There's a whole, whole world of board games out there. It's crazy. My ass might die, this sucks. Can you not shoot big balls at me? Oh, that sucked. Oh, you're a prick. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, trying to survive in this dome is so hard. So, but, alright, so yesterday. Yesterday, we did a really long dome. And we used the, the drones that attack. And it's cool. That will carry you a certain way. And I was powerful as hell. But the whole time I was just like, damn, imagine I had drones flying around that were giving everything 60% uh, more damage taken. Uh, I would go so much further. Oh, Holy! Oh, God, oh, man. Holy! Holy Let's Very excited to eat triple digit months. Let's go. Can't wait until we eat quadruple digit months in 2099. 2099. Uh, 2099. 
2099 is going to go crazy. Thank you so much, Santa Plants. Happy 100 months. Tier 3 100 months. That's that's wild. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if we uh, if you're if you're pos if you're capable of it, can we get some uh, chib pog using the chat? Some chib pog using the chat if uh, for the chib subs. <laughs> we can get some chib pog using the chat. <laughs> it's so fucking good. I love it so much. It's unbelievable. Oh. I got a message Apollo back. He sent me the cordial Tarkov inverta invertation. Yep. And uh, I may I may take him up on that in a little bit for a little bit. Not until I get my dome on though. <laughs> I don't know if I got Tarky in me today. I feel like I'm too tired. That shit's gonna give me an instant headache. I have to. I gotta think on it. I've been itching to watch some game shows. I've been sitting on a couple episodes of some game shows for a little bit here, and the only reason I haven't watched them yet is because I've just been doing other stuff. I feel like game shows usually fill the void where I'm like, I don't know what to do, but I've had stuff to do. Is Chip live? Is he being an early morning freak? Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> I love the game show stuff. It is a lot of fun. I would like to do some of that today. Uh, I gotta go drilling. I gotta go back down and actually go drilling. American Ghibli! <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say stay away from me after that or anything. I want to say American Ghibli, uh, come to me. <laughs> uh, so the game shows I can't put on YouTube. I, as I did ask, I assumed it would be a no, but I was just like, hey, like, just check and like, can I put these on YouTube too? And they were like, absolutely not. <laughs> and I was like, fair. They also shouldn't be highlighted. They could stay in the VOD. For now. But the VODs do auto expire after 90 days. But I think I've got like, uh, I think I've got like a year? A year of the rights. Might be less. <laughs> That's fair. You might find some F1 heads here. They come and they go. Oh my god. It takes so long to break this shit. I gotta upgrade my drill. Let's go, Ashley. Let's go. I've seen some F1. F1, I do like F1. I just couldn't get into it. I, I, it's one of those, I couldn't get enough into it. Like shit, I, my ass loves hockey and I never watch it. So to try like waking up at 8 a.m. to watch some shit is tough. Nah, I usually do wake up early. That was the reason I tried to get into F1. Was like, damn, you mean I could watch this when I'm like, it's a sport that happens when I'm not streaming. That's crazy. <laughs> early wave. I'm gonna get the adaptive wave warner right out the gate too. I need that shit. Oh boy. Alright. Hey. Alright, well, 
This is the most weird fucked up tunneling I've ever done. <laughs> it's a little, little bit of unhinged tunneling up here. That's okay. Sometimes you gotta. I gotta think of other stuff to yap about. I got nothing in the nothing in the old noggin right now. Other than like I'm excited about fall coming up. See any frogs lately? Nah, I haven't seen any frogs lately. I wish I had. <laughs> None frogs though. The New York Mets, baby. What's up, Benny? How you doing? No, that's fair. I like fall. I think I'm a. I think fall has always been my season. Oh, let's go. Happy to hear that, Benny. But yeah, yeah. I've always been a fall guy. <laughs> the fall guy, folks. Yeah, autumn fucking rocks. Trees are pretty. Air nice and crisp. Oh, I love it. I love it. My ass is going to be a windows open kind of guy this year. I never am. That's changing. I don't know what I'm going to do to prevent the cats from uh, being weird about it, but I'll find a way. I sweat so bad during the summer. I sweat so bad this... I, I need to like talk to a doctor about it, I think. Genuinely. I get night sweats sometimes that make me feel like I... like That like five people showed up and pissed in my bed. You know? It's an obscene amount of sweat. Yeah, Halloween is cool. I was, uh... I was watching another Richmond local on Twitch the other day. Old, uh, old Respectable Street. For those y'all, for those y'all who know him. Uh, and there were other local folks there. And someone invited me to a Halloween party. <laughs> and I'm not great with everyone's Twitch name yet, so I don't know if it was someone I've ever met. I don't think it was. But they were like, uh, you can come too. I was like, I'm gonna come to your fucking Halloween party. I'm gonna goddamn do it. Love a Halloween party. So, I wanna sleep with just a sheet. But, uh, if I do that, it becomes like open season on my feet with the cats. They don't fuck with me if I'm wearing, uh, if I've got a, like a blanket over me. And it's not even like, oh, well, they're fucking with you, but you just don't feel it. It's like, no, they just don't fuck with it. But if I have a sheet and Taco can like see my feet, my ass is fucking over. He is going to destroy my toes. He's a total foot sicko. His ass hasn't come into bed with me in fucking weeks. He hates me. No, he's just, he's on high alert for fucking earwigs, I think. I called them earlier and they didn't come in. That's that's so disrespectful. <laughs> nah, they were probably asleep. I think I kept them up all night because I stayed up all night. I think they were real fucking thrown off at, at that. They did not like it. No. I'll get more drones. Taco has really sharp claws. So yeah, anytime I've tried to sleep with a sheet, he has uh, clawed the absolute fuck out of one of my toes. And I, I like wake up like screaming <laughs> in, in pain. But I've just, I've just never sleep with the sheet for that. Like, I've just, I've adapted to just always having a comforter. And I keep my house really cold. But yeah, my, my ass be sweating like crazy sometimes. But I don't know, like, I've had some night sweat nights where, like, I'll pull the blanket off and just continue sweating all night. It's just insane. I'm like, no human should sweat like this.
Oh, it's so hard. I tried with them too. So where it's really hard for me to... I, I, I tried so hard, I tried so many methods, but the only one that I, I've ever seen really work well for people is kind of straddling the cat. At least that's how my ex used to do it with our cat. She would, uh... I don't like taking them to groomers. And having a home visit groomer kind of pricey. I could start doing a home visit groomer, I guess. But yeah, you gotta body him. I'm just too much body to do that. I can't... I can't leverage my weight in a safe way with the cats, you know? Uh, I tried doing the whole wrap him up in, a, in a, like a burrito and a towel, and Taco... Hey, hold that door! Hold that door! Hold that door! Taco went fucking nuts. <laughs> nuts. Pandified, happy 27 months. Nah, I'm not a fan of the claw caps. <clears throat> I could just have a comforter. I'm fine. <laughs> I just gotta get like thicker sheets or something. Or a thinner blanket, I guess. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, they'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna get that orb. I'm gonna get the shot power too. I know some other shit's coming. They be doing that to you. There we go. It's so fucking good. It's my favorite thing to come on TV. In an insanely long time. Oh, for sure. They finally made declawing uh, illegal in my state. And when I heard that, I was like, damn, I'm... Shocked it wasn't. <laughs> I'm shocked it already wasn't. I wouldn't want to. I think anyone can. It doesn't seem like hard. There's still a ton of shit there. Really? Huh. I gotta get my ass some fucking ice packs. That sounds great. Well, summer is almost over. I'm so happy for that. It's not really a summer guy. I love fall, though. I love winter, too. And I love spring. So, I'll take three out of four. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's so bad. That's not the worst. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? I should probably start getting the parasitic drones. I completely... I always neglect the side driller. I just kind of, like, forget it's a thing I can do. I like winter, but I recognize this is coming from a privileged position of guy who does not have to drive to a job. If I had to drive to a job, I would fucking hate winter. That's fair. I did, I, I shit, even when I lived in New York and did have to drive, I did still like winter. Yeah, and New York winter was never horrible. You'd get like maybe uh, the occasional blizzard every year or two. Richmond's odd in that it, like, it, I don't, it, I haven't seen snow since the year I moved here, I'm pretty sure. I've seen flurries, but nothing that has stuck to the ground. That's right. You would be so upset in the winter, or just in general, you would just be so upset if you had to drive a car every day. 
It sucks. I don't like I don't mind driving a car. I wish I never had to be in one. Where's Richmond? Uh Virginia. The great state of Virginia. I moved here uh, like three years ago. Lived in New York my whole life. And then a couple of uh, very strange years in Florida. <laughs> Never seen snow in your life, damn. I like where I live here in Richmond, so like we don't really get snow much. But the year I moved here, there was a lot of snow. Like, uh, fucking winter wonderland type shit. The year I moved here. Uh, but Richmond's nice because it gets every season and none of them are too extreme, I think. Like, I feel like I get to experience every single season living here. Where Florida was just summer and summer too. New York was kind of the same. I feel like New York, you kind of get every season. I'm so used to humidity at this point, too. Like, New York would have pretty brutally humid summers. Florida was fucking just a joke. Just a total fucking joke. <laughs> hello, Dave. Hello. What's up? Oh, that's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. I would love to get there someday. I still gotta, I, I, if I do some Tarkov with Apollo today, I wanna yap with him a little bit about uh, Japan again. Or maybe I should just save it for a private combo. Maybe that's not a stream combo. But I would like to talk to him some more about that. Uh, I think the fact that we were trying to... Not that we were trying to rush it, but I think part of it feeling like it was under a deadline is part of what made it feel like it fell apart. Ooh, nice, Dave. Let's go. Love that. I got fucking rinsed on Tarkov yesterday. The, the, I didn't really sleep last night, so that's the only reason why I'm like, yeah, I might not play Tarkov today. Especially after how just, like, viciously fucking rocked I got all day yesterday. I just got severely bodied, I feel like, the whole day yesterday in Tarki. He's doming up. That's what you're all thinking right now. <laughs> About me. Okay. Did I already get the drones? I already got the parasitic drones. Good. We're going to get persistent orbs. We're going to get quick shot. We're going to send some Doritos home. And a little water. Post crack. Yep, yep. That's right. Uh, did I ever find the wall over here? Nah, I just kind of stopped digging. Because it got hard to dig. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Patty. Keeping your dome? Good. I'm happy to hear that. That's what I like to hear. Uh, if you like your dome, you can keep it. Is that good? So the game has changed a lot, probably, since NL played it. I played this way back when, and it has changed so much since when I played. That's what brought me back, though. They had a big update, and I was like, Dome Keeper? I was like, I thought that game was like done, <laughs> like like out and finished. Turns out, uh, they're still making updates for this game. 
And they're really good, too. Blows my damn mind. But I do love to see it. Oh, I'll leave that there for you, Drone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was taking the Dorito from him. All he wanted to do was bring it home. That's all he wanted. I love them. They're like little jellyfish. It looks like they have little mustaches. I love their little mustaches. That was a good run. I learned last night, I didn't even know this. The devs for this game are a husband and wife couple. That's so cute. That's so cute. God. Imagine experiencing love. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm funny. I'm just being a funny guy. I'm just being a funny guy. <laughs> right, Dave? They found love and dome. Unbelievable. I'm gonna take this thing home. I got a thing to bring home. Wall world. No, I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> One hour of sleep does their guy. Yeah. I really love to get the power drill. Perfect timing is really good though. Uh, everything here is really good. We went power drill last time. It does kind of fuck. You know, we're getting a power drill. Who am I kidding? Good morning, Clumsy Waldo. What's up? Good to see ya. Dome Keeper, but vertical? This is vertical. <laughs> Kinda. Dome Keeper, but sideways. I see. It's horizontal. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Very nice slot. <laughs> Don't know wall world. Now we're cooking. <laughs> uh Yep. Me little pricks. I keep forgetting the parasites. What's wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> I forgot I had the. Yeah, I'm a cone keeper now. Yes, yes, Erzurin, yes. My hands look like this, so her dome can look like this. <laughs> uh, I am enjoying this dome. I'm trying to get this dome. I feel like it could go further than the laser. I like the laser a lot. But I think I've gotten like as far as I can get in a run with the laser. Like me a dome keeper to my son. Ain't no son of mine gonna be a dome keeper. <laughs> nah, I guess I don't want my son to follow in my footsteps. It's really hard. It's hard to be a dome keeper. Uh resource converter if we could I mean we have to get it in hopes we get the upgrade like immediately for infinite iron. We need that shit, something fierce. 
I can't really do much else. I can go back. Do a little more drilling. My drones appear to be collecting nothing right now. They're freeloading. <laughs> I gotta go back. <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> oh, look at him go. He's trying so hard. I'm gonna send some of them home, though. That sucked. That fucking sucked too. Oh, he's gonna hit me with things. I got his ass. Oh my god. That was a ton of fucking damage so quickly. Oh, I need to go get resources immediately to upgrade the weapon more. Also forgot to put out the parasitic drones again. I really gotta stop doing that. They're uh, they're very important. Yeah, we're getting gadgets like crazy though. all up so the drones have something to do while I lug that thing home. Oh, they're so fucking good, Bear. What's up? How you doing? They're so, so good. So right now I'm trying, so I'm, I've been doing endless runs, and I did a really deep endless run with drones that attack, but the drones that make you hit for like 60% more simply have to go deeper with how strong this weapon gets. There's the iron refinement. Oh, let's go. We're gonna be in iron heaven. But yeah, I, uh... There we go. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, fuck, I have no Doritos? Uh, my ass might just die. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. But yeah, I'm trying to get a deeper run. It's just so hard to live. It's so hard to live without the attack drones. Because uh, I, I need to upgrade my weapons quicker. Which, I do have a few bucks. Uh, do I... I think I have to do HP, though. Instead of weapon better. I gotta do that. It's just hard to live. Let's see. I should have left an orb here. Oh, fuck you, dude. Well, actually, no. This might not be so bad. Well, that is. Can you please stop doing that, sir? <laughs> I need this dome. Okay. Whew. My parasites helped. I hit box. They were out there. They were doing their thing. It's false information. <laughs> That's fair. It is, it is box. I did hit it though. I love Sword Dome. I actually, I'm curious how far some Sword Dome could go. I do love swinging that big thing. <laughs> love swinging that big thing around. I can see the Sword Dome doing really well because of the reflection. Especially as you get deeper. I love the dancing rats. There's a lot has happened to Dome Keeper since uh since you last played it most likely. I got drawn back in because of uh recent updates.
I'm gonna head back a little early here because I'm scared. I'm a little baby. Scared little baby. I should have probably brought those Doritos back. Too late now, though. I ain't turning around. My ass is already on my way home. I'll remember them. I used them on the last fight. <laughs> I don't know if people just didn't see it or what, but I used them. They're the only reason I didn't die in the last fight. Uh, <laughs> and I, I know. I got it. Uh, ah, fuck. So this is... There's the part of it's like, yeah, just dump a bunch in the health real quick. But I could also get several things better. I think the nurturing orbs are big and persistent. More reticle speed is honestly probably necessary. We're going to do reticle speed. Nurture or depth effect? We're going to do depth effect. And we're going to fucking pray. <laughs> this might be a run restart moment. Fuck you, you prick, you son of a prick. You son of prick. Yeah, no, we're fucking dead. We've never been more toast. <laughs> God damn. Now I, I wanna try this one more time. I have to make this work. It has to it it has to be doable. I could do this. I could do this. No, but I eventually get the spire, and the spire can hit the projectiles. This is going to be the one. We're going to find early quick upgrades that are going to get us more efficient. It's going to be huge. It's not cope. <laughs> I'm not coping. Okay. Right out the gate. We're going to upgrade our drill. Dome keeping's been going well. I've been having a nice time dome keeping. <laughs> Cope keeper. But now I've been so into this game lately. Yes, I agree. That, that is a... I had that thought as I was going down just now. I was like, you know what? Let me go sideways first. Although I don't remember what's in the first level. I think there is one gadget. But I think there's only one. Maybe if there... I don't even know if the first one's in this level or if it's one down. But yeah, Dome's been uh, super fun. Super, super fun. Alright, we're gonna get these in there. And immediately do... Uh, you and you. Uh, yeah, yeah. There is one of the domes, uh, does have a wave delay that you can trigger. Uh, but I just love the drones so much. They're so nice. They're my buddies. Right, this first one won't be hard. The first, like, three waves are just a joke. And then it starts to get hard, like, quickly. <laughs> yeah, do not covet your neighbor's dome. That's good advice. Uh, could have been a great tree spot. Although trees kind of work anywhere, I've come to learn. Because they'll harvest themselves and drones will come pick the shit up. Yeah, I'm going to help carry some of this stuff home. Yep. I'm gonna let them get that water back. Okay. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do... Honestly, I should get my speed up. We need more drones yet. Oh, 
I'll head on back. <laughs> it is! It is! It's my handsome little guy. I'm looking forward to this week because the weather is going to be nice. I'm sad. I didn't realize Monday was Labor Day. So my ass is only going to go to my trainer and then immediately back home. But also, I guess, so I want to take some mornings and uh, just go out and take some walks and stuff. But I'm also dying to get back to Construction Simulator. So that's going to revolve heavily around when Sips, Ravs, and Mouth want to play. <laughs> I will schedule my little walks around that happily. Okay. Uh, I want the side driller right out the gate for sure. And we'll get that thing going immediately. Come with me. Why does it keep stopping, you fucker? Oh, because the drill fucking ain't there. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Construction simulator usually starts at 8 or 9 a.m. my time. I'm going to be very sad if they're doing it tomorrow, because ain't no way I'm going to cancel on my trainer again. I've missed and had to reschedule a lot with him lately. But I could always join them for like the last hour, if that's the case. Well, you know, I'm not going to do that one up there. Let me set it up. I gotta wait for the fucking slow ass drill to go. There we go. <laughs> I should actually peek at the Dadcraft Discord and see if there's been any word on tomorrow. Let's just see. Nope. <laughs> But yeah, it's usually 9 a.m. until about 2 p.m. Eastern. It's usually about five hours. Oh yeah, I was uh, I was on that server. It was a beautiful dome. Oh, I was hoping to dig through there and go back, but. Modern wonder, it's true. It's true. Oh, it sucks 18. Yeah, it's like perfectly bad timing for people on a 9 to 5 on the East Coast. Unless they could watch it work, in which case it's the perfectly best timing. <laughs> like to I like it's one of those I can't remember what was happening launch weekend when they launched it something was happening that kept me from doing it oh fucking I think it was like partner anniversary weekend right or maybe it was the weekend before whatever it was I just haven't had anytime I'm streaming I'm always like oh yeah vault hunters I'm like well I got dome keeper and construction sim and Tarkov and this and that I'll get to it soon and then I and then just soon doesn't seem to ever come I would like to though. I gotta check it out. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna save seed spots. I'll find one in the future.
Okay. Let's clean this up a little bit. I think I'm hitting the point where I should start buying stuff. I'm gonna get the parasitic drones and reticle speed. Could have been worse. Okay. We gotta send these Doritos off though. We gotta get that score up. Ooh. I gotta find the power drill. So I can break those spots that are going to break my side driller. Yeah, I really hope. I don't know if there's like a roadmap or a timeline for their multiplayer on Dome Keeper, but. I really want to see what multiplayer dome keeper is going to look like. All right, nothing hiding in there. Had to be sure. I don't think we're going to have time to really find anything else right now at all. You head on back. Okay. Uh we're sending some Doritos home. Is there anything meaningful I could upgrade for four? The Electro Orb, for sure. And then I think I'm going to just send home a couple of these. Get the multiplier going. Clean round. Let me get around the edge here. Well, first, let me make sure this doesn't go any deeper. It doesn't. And then let me make sure this doesn't go deeper. Okay. That's a total dead end in there. It definitely goes back around. I gotta upgrade the side drillers. The side drillers are fucking trash. Let me just go back down here quick, see if there's anything. Nah, nothing close. <laughs> it's up there for sure. <laughs> yep. Oh, that one hit—it's gonna cost me everything. Okay, I think we get our shot power up, and we also then save for side driller stuff. Okay. 
just want to find one more vein to like uh, dig out, you know? Here, let me move this to like here. And I'll dig this side out. Is that? Yeah, that is right. Cross, huh? Damn. Okay. Let's go just check the other side real quick before we fly home. We are very slow, so we don't have much time to do this. I shouldn't bother because I can't do anything. Even if I get over there. And up we go. We can upgrade those side drillers. But I do kinda wanna just gotta kinda wanna get another offensive upgrade here. Ah well you know what? No. Let's commit to the side drillers to be better. I'd like to upgrade our health a bunch before I start repairing. At least once. Alright, so the side driller should be much better now. Let's see if y'all found anything new and exciting. Not really. Okay. Yeah, I really like the uh I do have the spire in the in like the gadget list. I do think it is a very good one for this. that in mind and look for a good seed spot where I have all three things. I'm going to start heading home. Here, we go with a uh, quick shot. And we sent home only two Doritos out of fear. And uh, that's it. Those guys sucked up all my parasitic drones, these pricks. What is with how many motherfuckers are in this wave this early? It's insane. I forgot about double shot the whole time too, which didn't help. <laughs> Alright. Keep those Doritos for a moment. Because of the aforementioned fear. <laughs> I really gotta upgrade my drill. My drill is what's gonna make this all take a long time now, I think. At least once I'm out of this green area. Check, I think I pretty much am. Yeah. 
Alright, let me move the drill. Let's go see what we found over here, if anything else. I don't think so, though. Oh, never mind. I probably, I, uh, maybe I should just get the Tesla Dome early. I was like, I should get the drill or I go for the iron duplication. But I might just straight up need that shit to not die. Let's drag this on on. That was already hit a wall. Hello, friend. We fly the same speed. We are equals. I have to get the fucking drill. I need these rounds to start moving quicker. And I'm going to get the next round of parasitic drones there, and then put another Dorito into just a heal, I think. Well, no, I don't have to yet. And I do have nurturing orbs, I think. At least I have persistent orbs. You know what? I'll just leave a bunch of shit over there. If anything spawns, I'll hit it. Well, that went well. And now with the power drill, I could fix the uh, side driller when it gets stuck. Like that. Like so. Ain't no way this is going to go for too long. Yep. Okay. That's going on that side. A little redundant up there, but that's okay. dig this and bring it home. Maybe. My move speed's still slow as shit. Oh, we got so many Doritos. Which is wonderful news. I think I can get home with this in time. Uh, yeah. Power drill's permanent, yeah. It takes up one of the gadget slots. But it feels like it's just too good to not use. starting. That was just my go home alarm. Which is fine. I'm home. I think I have to get the spy. I want the resource converter first and foremost. But the spire might actually like save us. But no, we're not going to be able to afford upgrades for the spire yet. The spire will help at least a little bit though. I'm going to get the spire. We're going to try Spire Strats. We're going to go machine gun with it. We want Energy Trap. We can't afford it yet, though. I'm not going to send all the Doritos back yet. Did I ever dig through this? No, I didn't. Let me do it real quick. Just in case something's hiding, it's not. Alright, I'm going to go.
go back over here and then fix the drill. one right. <laughs> pull you turn in there. Heading home. <laughs> What's up, J Master Blast? And hi, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm chilling. I'm catching my second wind. I could feel it happening in real time. Uh, what did I want for six? There was something I needed to get. But it cost six, I thought. Oh, the fucking health. Yep. Uh, I hate when those connect. Okay. They really are. I gotta upgrade the spire a little bit more, maybe. On accident, sure. On accident. <laughs> I'll play it. I'm playing. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a Dorito and a water. Anywhere near this, and it's a great tree spot. Uh oh. I just gotta find a water somewhere in here. I don't know if there's gonna be one though. Oh my god. Let me go get that seed. It's the perfect spot. Made for a tree. I don't know if I'm going to get back. You should be able to, like, right-click or something, Ozio, and hit, like, don't add, don't curate my tastes on this. Or, like, it's it's phrased something like that. And I'm pissed off because when you hit it, too, it goes, okay, we'll use this less to uh, curate your taste. And I'm like, no, completely, completely, not less, completely. I'm going to leave the seed here, and I'll come back for it. <laughs> yeah. It was hard, and I don't say this in a shit-talky way. This is just like a frank, like a matter-of-fact way, but I used to share my Spotify with a partner. And when we broke up, I was like, all right, can you, like, not just keep recommending me all the music she likes? Like, no matter what I did, even still to this day, it'll occasionally be like, like, yo, this artist has a new song, and I'm like, I don't like them. How many times can I hit? I'm not interested. <laughs> All right. I do want to upgrade this more. I'm going to go reticle speed. We're going to go energy trap. We're going to get a little better cooling on that. And we're just chilling. The algorithm is my god. My king. Not this brick.
Let's go. Whew, okay. Is there another drone who's almost back? I would love to up my move speed before I leave. There's gotta be. There's just gotta be. I'm gonna wait patiently for just a moment for one more iron to get home. Well, I make this look nice and wide and pretty, you know? The drones just never come back. They quit. Never to be seen again. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch me. And I put the algorithm in prison. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my god, he could do that? Oh, yep. I can. Oh, yeah, the seed. I just got back to the seed zone, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, do I have time? I should. It should be sitting right up here. Come with me. Don't fucking... I right, find whatever roll there. Who gives a shit? It'll spread. <laughs> I wanted it right in the middle. That looks stupid. No, it looks cool. It's just good luck. I mean, I've always found... I feel like they tend to be in little clusters near each other. They're usually not that tight. That's just good luck finding it that tight. Uh, I don't think I could do anything meaningful with upgrades right now. I gotta get my multiplier up. I'm wave 14 with like 200 points, it's not good. <laughs> Got there though. They do have a private session mode, but if you for if you forget to turn it on, or if it turns off mid listening, you're just hosed. It's in your it's in your history forever. Ooh. I gotta really upgrade the drill next, huh? That's the next upgrade we're doing. Is the damn drill. Imagine if we didn't have power drill, how long this would take? We'd be in agony. I gotta find water. I have a feeling this is gonna break back into diggable area. Maybe I'm wrong. I see it below me. Water anywhere. Well, honestly, there's usually water near these. But I may have already dug it out. So next, I think we want to start getting... Well, no, this is going to be an upgrade to something, right? And we didn't get the uh, iron conversion. The hull hardening. Oh, projectile damage unaffected. I think we go additional side driller here. Although perfect timing is a much more powerful shot. But I don't think we need that yet. I want it, but I don't think we need that yet. 
I'm still gonna save Doritos to fucking heal, I guess. I hate to, but I think I have to. I wanna get the monster trap. Monster trap's big. That's when this thing really starts singing. Don't stab my shit, please. Oh no, come on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, I did I did go through and like unfollow a ton of artists at a point. Let me put this. Oh, this is the new one. That's why it's all fucked up. Oh, there's several new ones. All right, hold on. We're gonna put this here. We'll put this one here. Yeah, put down one more. Wait, why do I feel like I have so many of these now? I feel like this is more than I was supposed to get. I guess you get four. I guess it's just they give you four of them. Or three? I thought there was a third there. I thought there was a fourth one I saw. Oh yeah, there is. Here it is. Whew. Yeah, the enemy design is great. Little little freaks. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stick to. I'm not gonna break that. Let me have a look over here. I have to upgrade my drill still. This is fine for now. Yeah, the sound design is also great. It sounds like a damn slot machine. Hits all the right all the right marks. All right, we can see deeper now. I could actually make the drills further apart, but I don't have time. So I'll do it on the next one. As much as I want to upgrade the drill right now, I don't think I can. We are going to get health with that. Wow, so we actually used a Dorito. We auto-repaired with one last turn. That's terrifying. Ugh, piece of hair on my tongue. I hate that. I'm gonna do that. And hopefully this will help us. <laughs> I'm putting a big orb on the right side. Oh! That shit hits so hard. That son of a bitch. There we go. So yeah, our thing is helping us not take more hits. Oh, I have two things of uh, parasite orbs now, but everything was parasited there anyway, so it didn't matter. But I gotta remember, I could put two waves of them out. Okay. I'm actually going to bring this one down, yeah. See that gadget over there? Oh god. Well, this is fantastic. Oh god, it's gonna take forever. I'm 
My highest prestige score? I have to look. I can't remember. Chat might know. It was pretty high, whatever it was. Like, my brain wants to say, like, over six figures, but I, I can't remember. I know that I'm ranked, like, 300. It might be 50k. 50k something. I'm ranked 3 or 400 ish overall. Which is pretty good. Was No, I think 51k is the highest I've done on, on stream, but I have a higher score that I set off stream. And now I've been struggling to beat that score. Prestige is hard because you have to be very greedy. Sorry, just breathing that one in real deep. It tastes so good. Right, we're going resource converter this time. We simply need the health upgrade, I think. Let's get ready to fuck rumble. can't do any converting of anything yet, really. I need to get that thing upgraded. I have to find another gadget to upgrade the converter. I gotta find that, like, as quick as I can. ASAP. Okay, so you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five down. And you're gonna go... One, two, three, four, five down. Grab this one. That's too far. One more. All right. So I gotta go look. Some more stuff may have been uncovered above. There should be no shortage of stuff for the drones to bring home. In fact, I gotta make the drones better so they bring stuff home quicker. They're slacking right now. Did we uncover any gadgets or anything over here? No, but we got all this. I don't have time to do this, I don't think. Well, I can get some of it. Can't risk being late. Really gotta upgrade the drill. And I'm gonna do it right now. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm so stressed. It's stressful. This one well. Okay. We should drill twice as efficiently now. Let's go finish checking everything on the right here and making sure we've dug it all out. Like this.
just keeps going. Yeah, you know what? I gotta get my own carry speed up, but I'm gonna carry some balls home and get those drones upgraded. Yeah, I'm gonna get some busty drones. And some real busty drones. I'm going home early on this one, but I think that's okay. I should have moved the drills first. That's okay. Eh, it wouldn't have really gotten me. I would have still been cutting it close if I did drill stuff. Okay. What did I just say we were upgrading? My shit's dumb. Oh yeah, the drones. We have more drones. More drones, more fun. I'm just gonna make a big orb on the right. Actually, I should start making the orb here in case shit flies into the base. Like that. Oh, he fucking hit. I'm so pissed. I tried to stop that one too and failed. Oh no. This might just be the end. Oh no, we have one. We do have one heal. Oh. And the spire is kind of saving our lives right now. God. Let me upgrade my fly speed on this one. My move speed. I'm one short. Someone's gonna show up in any second with one. Right? Someone's gonna show up, right? Any second now. Yes. The tree? Probably good. It auto harvests, so I don't, I don't ever have to look at it. I think it's important. We're zooming. Yeah, I think trees just do it. I think when new stuff grows on the tree, the old stuff just falls off. At least that's how it looks like it's doing it. be the perfect distance, but I'll live. Alright, I gotta go see if we uncovered anything on the left. Yup. So we do want the gadget to get infinite iron, but we already have plenty of iron right now, so I might use the gadget upgrade to make our weapon better. I'll see what's available to us. I might be able to get something for the uh, spire even. I think the drones will have plenty of shit to pick up, so I don't think I have to dig that out. I'm just going to fly this home now. we got plenty of Doritos for repairs. Still though, my multiplier is way too low for wave 20. Like, ain't no way I'm going to set a good score. I had to sacrifice multiplier for multiplier for living. Then again, I might be able to just start skyrocketing my multiplier once I stabilize. I gotta. I think I gotta spend this on heals right now, though. Uh, I'm gonna get the perfect. I'm gonna get the perfect timing. We have enough. No, because the iron refinement gets us everywhere. All right, let's do bam, bam, bam. We're just getting those heals. We have to. It sucks. Drone speed. Uh, 
there's a lot that's happened in this game. <laughs> I think I want to go... I'm just going to go higher shot power. No. Oh, it hit the ball, I think. I don't know. I missed it? I'm so close. That's okay. It's all okay. Okay. I gotta finish clearing the left side here. Let's see if anything got left. I will take a little peek at the tree. Maybe? It might be above me. Ooh. Was the tree. Yeah, here it is. Beautiful tree it is. Ooh. I think I gotta do my drill again. But yeah, we're starting to get a lot of iron coming in. Which is wonderful news. come back once my drill is upgraded again. I'll take this with me. Let me fix the drills actually. I think I can fix the drills and get home in time because some of them have to be stalled by now. No, oh, you're still good. Sorry, didn't mean to touch you. Nope, they're all still fucking rolling. So, my mistake, I'm the asshole. <laughs> I'll fly home now. I need more drones. On mobile, Zitini, it seems to be do it seems to be doing that to many people. All right, I would like to get automated conversion. Oh, I didn't realize that cost fucking Doritos. That sucks. I hate to say it, I'm doing two, just two more on heels before I start getting super greedy. I have to. All right, we're going to go persistent, depth, persistent two. And then I'm cranking more bullets into this. Oh, uh, it has little red dots instead of uh, green dots when it's stalled. Had a hair on my tongue again, and it drove me crazy. Okay. Let's get that drill up a little more and fly down there. We're starting to... So we're starting to, like, super stabilize now. We're becoming very strong. We have one more upgrade to do on our uh, parasitic drones, and then we will be melting like everything in a single shot, I think. Especially once we upgrade more. All right, so we need to go finish clearing the left and right side to make sure we're not missing any gadgets or shit to mine out. There's mining stuff down there, and there's stuff out here to mine still. What about, yeah, okay. This is where we left off. Yeah, it's so weird, the mobile app. 
they were like, oh, this is what you guys wanted, discovery. And it's like, mm, this is not effective discovery if you're just yoinking people out of what they were watching. <laughs> I don't think it's going to make anyone happy about the place they got sent to. through this section. Ah, fuck. I don't think I have time to dig that out. I want to move the drills first. And I also have to check the right side for gadgets, but I think we have to do that next turn. We got stuff to dig out there. Okay. Buddy, you go here. Honestly, you just go there. You dig that part out. We don't have much time, so I'm just going to go back. I'm going to also send you here. This part of the power, the power spike, the power spike is super satisfying. I love it. I love it oh so much. Okay, we are going to get the final level of parasitic drones, fifty percent increased damage dealt, which is kind of nutty. And we're also going to upgrade the reticle speed. I one-shot that big boy, which is kind of sick. All right. Back down we go. Oh, look how fast they are now. They're zooming. Tesla Dome is really weak early game, but if you can stabilize, it gets crazy. Alright, we have a lot of mining to do on the right side. And the left side, for what it's worth. Okay, so you're gonna come down here. And you're gonna go there. I'm doing these drills a little too close to each other, but I think it's okay. It's not the most optimal. But it'll be easier for me to see everything, I, I guess. And they'll dig stuff for me, too. Alright, let's check the right side out. Ooh. Oh, oh. So get me home even quicker. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if it would run out, but that's actually not a terrible idea. Maybe that is how people do it. Dome armor is great. Condenser is great. Stun laser is great. I think dome armor is the way we want to go. That's how we live the longest. And we eventually get the condenser. We're going to do that. So we have dome armor now. Too stupid doge. Thank you for giving me the daggish. Thank you so much. Let's go. Let's simply go. I'm gonna get those two. And I'm also gonna get more move speed. I'm zooming back down. I still have the mushroom on, so I'm fast as fuck. This is one of the more kept domes I've ever had, I'd say. I don't have much time, even still. Ooh. I'll dig these out. Oh, I still don't have my fucking move speed upgraded, huh? That's kind of sad. <laughs> or my uh, carry weight. But I got all these drones. Who needs it? I'm going to go home now. Bye. 
simply fucking the story. Oh, it's good to see that it's Daggish. Welcome back. Alright, I'm gonna get... I think we want more sharp... We don't want, nor do we need more sharp power. I don't even know what that would be. I don't even know what that would be. So, we want Monster Trap. That's actually what we want. And I'll also get Powered Quick Shot. Beautiful. <laughs> and away we go. Still under the influence of a mushroom, so we're fast. This is what it's like when you take mushrooms. You just go so fast. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll tell you that. I'm going to see if anything was left up here. I don't think it was. It's like... Got some fucking zoomies here. Okay. We can come back to that at another time. It's so sad when you mine the whole place out and then you just got all these drones who don't do anything. Poor guys. We're, we're far from that, I'm pretty sure. It's like a long way to go. I'll carry some stuff home. I'll be helpful. You know, let me look just down a little bit more first, I guess. Fuck, I had a feeling there'd be something. I gotta be so hard to dig out. Well, I did set the spire to be automated, so it'll fire even though I'm not there. Mm. We'd like to get back. Perfect timing. Okay. And then we're also going to do bam, and bam, and bam. But let's not forget BAM and BAM. What does happen if I just, like, don't ever shoot them? Does this thing recharge in time? Alright, so what if I did just go mining? Will new shit eventually come? Will the game punish me for doing this? I think the next wave counter started. Why'd the timer just go all the way up? 
Oh, I guess because it's still the wave. Huh. It will punish me? Oh, fuck. Will, will new stuff show up? I was trying to get some free digging in. I don't want to die, though. Oh, you can have multiple waves at once? Oh, that's what that was, huh? So is it going to, like... Well, no, it's on the next wave now. I didn't look like it was going to punish me. But I guess it could eventually just throw more monsters at you and then you're not there to defend it. I don't know what to worry for or about. I do have to start doing this to start making Doritos soon. If you leave it, it'll spawn more mobs. Gotcha. I figured that's what it would do. It'll eventually just like dumpster your ass. <laughs> slide you down to you know what let's just we're just gonna dig this whole section out it's gonna be nice well I go dig out sides and stuff I gotta upgrade my drill again huh my drill is so wimpy wanna be caught with a wimpy drill Your cat just brought in a skink. They heard from Taco that it was fun. Gotcha. Ooh. This is fun. You know what? Why not right here? I guess we could just here mine the side out. I think it was pretty far, huh? Oh, thank you. It was for my 10 year partner anniversary. Yeah, I'll bring some stuff home too. I think this day is kind of a wash. I need to really upgrade my uh, drill and start blasting all this shit out. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, they just they just uncovered something down there. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, they found a gadget below. That fucking rocks. All right. So, I mean, I think we just blast one of these out. You know what? Let's do that. And let's do uh this. We have a lot of Doritos. We're going to start cranking that multiplier. Just a bit. I like that. I do have to start getting this. But it could wait a little. Look at my big nasty orders. Why are my orbs going away so fast? Aren't they supposed to stay? Why are my orbs bad? What happened? What's eating my orbs? Seriously though, like, they were going away so quick. I thought I had them fully upgraded. What the fuck? They're supposed to last so long. Tom Buskin. Happy 32 months. I'm worried it's broken. That that like, I'm going to lose the game if that keeps happening. That can't happen. I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with them. That was like 100% a bug. Like, I don't... I don't think 
that could happen normally. And that's like really annoying. Let me get back in there. Yeah. Shouldn't be. I had an I had a very big orb on my main part of the building and then it just suddenly disappeared. <laughs> what the fuck happened? And then all none of the orbs were working after that. That's so weird. But that's some shit you lose the game quickly. If that keeps happening. Oh baby. You know what happened to my damn orbs? Yeah, I might, actually. Not a bad idea. Answer. So I'm not sure. My drones won't pick the thing off of it, huh? Because like I feel like auto harvest is the smart one to do. Because it'll automatically take them off, but I could produce and store them. I'm home at least once a wave, so I think I go the top route. Uh I gotta go back. Okay. Oh yeah, let me uh let me just look real quick. I do feel like my orbs are fucked up. They're not lasting as long as they should. I'm gonna pee anyway. And then we'll resume. We're gonna take a quick intermission, folks. Uh, I'm gonna run ads so we can get rid of pre-rolls. I haven't run ads at all today. And I try to run them manually so that no one ever misses gameplay. It's my it's AC Justin guarantee. Right now, at least. <laughs> so I'll see you in three minutes. I'm gonna get up, walk around, pee, same time. Uh, because it was my 10 year partner anniversary. Had it saved from that. Warp size check? I'll just wait till we're fighting. Because it's gonna be what it is. Hey, what's up, Inezza? How you doing? What's up? Let me get this mushroom, which is surely back. I guess so. Uh, I did restart the run. I didn't restart the game, though. I gotta fly back. My ass do be speedy. Yo, what's up, old lady? How you doing, Evie? I'm zooming back to my dome. Okay. It's the final weapon upgrade there. I don't have anything that's only one water, right? No. Oh, yep. That. Oh, it's good to see you. They seem like they're normal again. Yeah, that, that fixed the orbs, restarting it. I don't know why I was being so weird before. But we fixed it. I have uh, nothing to sp Oh, you know what I do have to spend upgrades on? Fucking this. Alright, let's zoom. We're zooming. But yeah, this game is a lot of fun. I'm playing Endless Mode yeah, right brother. now, which probably looks insane and daunting. Mick Fletcher soon. Happy 43 months. Thank you. But if this is a game you're looking to get into, I think it is. Uh, I think it does a great job at easing you into everything. I 
I think I broke the rounds timer when I went back into the mines earlier, and that's probably what it was. Honestly, hold on, let me move these down. My ass might just start, I have to go dig so much side stuff out that I'm going to keep doing this uh, mine every layer bullshit for now. Fuck it, right? I have so much side stuff I gotta go get. Might as well let them uh, do that. I've played a lot of endless games. <laughs> I mean, not like a, like millions or anything, but I've, shit. Since playing, starting playing this again fairly recently, that's probably like my, I mean, a lot of them just fail right away. Maybe my like 30th? Maybe my 30th endless run? Okay. Let me go check the left side. Or in general, just closer to everything. There's gotta be stuff I didn't dig out down here. Well, maybe not, looks pretty dug. Nope. Although I don't really have time, I gotta fly back in a sec. And away I go. Some stuff there too. <laughs> Doug wanted to go up. Fifty-eight resources or fifty-eight iron. It's kind of nutty. How are we like late? We even left early. All right, hold on. Uh, before we do anything, we're going to do this. And this. And then of course this, and that, 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 that. <laughs> we are evaporating the shit now. <laughs> Just fucking evaporating it. Ah, it feels good. It does, yeah. It takes the, the like the dome surface slot. Alright, let me go back this way because there was stuff to dig out. There it is. I don't think there's anything else, though. Maybe. We'll see. I still gotta upgrade this drill more, by the looks of it. What's going on over here? Just making sure. They got stuck like immediately on this side, huh? That's okay. Let's go have another look out here real quick. I don't really worry about anything on the lower side because it's going to get it for me. anything out here? Doesn't look like it. I just want to be thorough. I'm just gonna like fly home this weird way. Like, there could be stuff in this. I don't really have time to check though. 
I gotta remember my way down to stop on this level. <coughs> remember, it's right by that gadget. Okay, we need to get that, that, there, we have no more for that. We'll get this and this, and uh, that and that. We are uh, so strong. <laughs> it's insane how strong we are now. It is stressful. I love the stress. I don't know why I really enjoy stress in a video game. And it's why you know, I don't think anyone like likes stress. But there's something about like a controlled, anxious environment that I'm like okay with. It definitely gets stressful though, yeah, it's a it's a stressful one. That mushroom might be back up. I'd like to find that. I don't remember exactly where it was. I thought I would be near it right now. May have already passed it though. Yeah, we super passed it. Okay. You're gonna come down here. Not gonna hit out of bounds anywhere over here, right? I don't think so. scan through some of these middle pockets because I definitely rode the edge out but I don't think I've like weaved in and out of these let me go one more in here just to, just to get a look at this all and then I can deem this whole section finished it's looking pretty finished oh I eat my words I want to remember this is where I left off, so I'm just going to make this section particularly wide. And we be zooming. Let's get this maxed out. Pretty much everything I care about is maxed out now. We could always use more drones, but we can't afford them right now. Uh, let's get that drill up, I guess. Well, actually. Yeah. We are going to be alive for a long time, I think. Make sure I'm not hiding up here. 
Let's just trim this edge all the way. I should have trimmed my way down. Oh, I love that tree. It's such a good tree spot. I'm give it not nice a uh, nice bunch of air for it to make sure there's no. Yeah, now we've gotten all this stuff. I think we're good. I think we're good on the left and the right, all the way down. I can start being a little more normal about my drill placement now and get us to the bottom faster. These are still going. Well, here, let's do you. I'm not going to do as big of gaps, but I'm still going to do gaps. You know what? And since we got those coming. I don't know why I wanted to get ahead of that one, but I did. Let's see, we've had to have hit the bottom by now, right? So let's see how low it is. Because we still have a lot of gadgets to get. Damn. Damn. God damn. Holy, alright. I don't know how much we still have to go. Fuck me. One goes. Let me fly home. I'm scared, little baby. Look at those beautiful drones fly. Two-way telly would be crazy. I don't know why I can't. I think because I have the power drill, I can't get the two-way telly. I don't know what it is that took the two-way telly away from me. I think I already have the yeah, I've already got all the speed upgrades. I'm as fast as I am possible uh, of being. Nope, didn't say any of that right. But you know what I meant, I think. Uh, let's keep cranking up that multiplier. I love killing that guy before he even gets to do anything. Alright. <coughs> oh, I mean that, what about the personal teleporter? What is the personal telly, uh, like where you can just like drop it somewhere? Is that the one that conflicts with the drill? I feel like something took that one away from me. Because that one would be sick, where you could just place one. Yeah. You have more skill players. Have your come flowing, go for fights, Thank make you. a difference. Happy 96 months. What's up, dude? Thank you very much. Oh, my good hiccups. Ooh. Want to see this. I will say, I'm getting to the point where I'm probably going to be just shredding gadgets. There's some stuff I like I didn't care about towards the end. Alright. You know, before I go up with this... Let me check this side. Let's see if we found anything of note. I do want to dig all that out, but I don't see anything else I really got to do. <laughs> yeah, AI. We replaced Drillbert with AI. I know, I'm a monster. further down. You go here. I'm going to bring this on.
But yeah, the travel time is brutal. I will say the last time I was doing an endless mode, I noticed to get to the bottom, it would take me a quarter of the timer to get down and a quarter to get back. So I only really had half of rounds to do things. But by the time I got that low, I also mined everything out already. So it kind of stopped mattering. Uh, the dull home, the dull, nope, dome hole hardening. I don't think we ever have to worry about melee though. Doesn't this reduce your max HP if it goes off? It does, but it's better than dying, right? That's true, I will have stuff getting to me. I wonder if I do hardening or electrified. I think electrified over the harden because it'll do some more damage and there might be upgrades that come with that. Uh, I think it's... I think you can spam it, but you lose max HP every time you use it. I'm going to get it, because I guess it is a live longer thing and a contingency. Uh, what was that an upgrade to? Oh, I can't afford that. Ooh. Ah, thorough or quick. Right, well, we'll do the thorough for sure. I'm gonna do that. Might as well do that. And uh, that's it. Let me drag this up. Hello, Taco. What's up, Mr. Baby? Hi. You just wake up? You look so sleepy-eyed. Hello, baby. Oh, what a cat. What a good cat. What a good cat. Let's line these all down a bit. I could be spacing these out further because I could see further. Come on, let me. Nah, that should just be a little better. You can go down one more. <laughs> We're gonna do this one all fucked up. I think that's cool. It's cool to do it all fucked up. What do we find this way? The upgraded drill is so good. Oh, yeah, we gotta go up this way. This way, real quick. We don't have a whole lot of time. Okay, no, we we already been here. Okay. Oh, hey, it is. Hi. 
What's up? I'm gonna break through this. That's like breaking all that, you know? It's like it had to be done. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get the final level, I thought, of these. But I guess we'll do that another time. I need to get the thorough upgrade repair, so I'm not gonna send any more Doritos right now. Get Moses! It was not you who subbed, I misread it. <laughs> but thank you for being here all the same. Grimisi! There it is. Happy 32 months! Thank you! repair send another home thank you so much and thank you everyone for being here love a Sunday Sunday streams are always so nice here they're always very chill everyone's always seemingly having a nice time uh, there's always a lot of people here which always just feels good as a streamer I think hard to feel like you're doing a bad job when you've got a ton of people watching it's great wonderful going out of town getting the hell out of Dodge I'm sure the drills had to have uncovered something new right aha love a Gurch People love Gurch. Got a little bit of iron here. The drone army is going to show up, yeah. Yeah, good enough. I'll let that one keep on, keep on keeping on. Who's body weeding today? We're going to do a little raffle. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take like a little, uh, like a tiny little piece. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I, uh, I'm glad that they get to be chill. <laughs> I know, like, my stream is, like, what I make of it. I know that I steered it in a chill direction, but I'm really glad that this gets to be just, like, a nice, nice relaxing place. I feel like for a job that can be weirdly stressful. See, like, I don't feel like I want any of these. But I feel like there's probably good stuff past them. Like, if I get these and then get to something else. But I don't need any of these. I have to get I have to do my suit order. I wonder if there are things I haven't picked up. Or that these are like blocking the path of. There has to be. Maybe not though. Either way, shred the cobalt. I don't need that.
Make my drill even better. This shit is crazy. Oh my god, did I have the reroll option? I like forgot. I forgot that's a thing you unlock and that I have unlocked and turned on. Suit Blaster can be alright. It just does a little AoE explosion around you. But with the drillers, there's really no need for it. Good morning, Saron. What's up? What's up? Good to see ya. This probably eventually gets back, yeah. Let me move this one down a bit too. Let me go check all Ooh. I just I wooed it kinda. Didn't mean to. I think we got enough iron. We've been producing infinity iron for a while too. <laughs> I know. I'm chomping them at the bit. I remember there being an NLSS day where we were saying that that's what they should call like stealing someone's bit. You chomp you chomp them at the bit. I remember being like, damn, it just makes so much sense. Alright, that was just like 1,000 things I mined. This is endless. It is. I'm trying to get a nice high score. I think I'm at the point now where I shift off of iron production and on to Dorito production. I'm getting that dome. And do that. Get that multiplier up a little more. I still have to get the I have to get more drones. Well, I don't really need them actually. I feel like they're doing a fine enough job. So I might as well stay in there, but yeah, I'll just break some of this for fun. I had fun at least. Let me, uh, let's get another drone in the mix. Might as well, right? going very well. It's going so very well. Yeah, the drill gadget's so good. You should call the chairs the squares Cheez-Its. I feel like people have actually told me to do that before. <laughs> and I remember I'd be like, oh, I'm not a big Cheez-It guy. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. What about like a... Like a wheat thin. It's like a wheat thin. <laughs> you know? 
I'll just drill this part out all together. We'll do another thick section here. Let me go see what they found up this way. I'll let them drill that. I say them like they're people I know. My buddies. Ooh, I see stuff up there. <laughs> I don't hate Cheez-Its. I gotta maybe give Cheez-Its another try. I was just never a, never a big Cheez-It guy. out well enough. There could be stuff in the middle of all this shit, but I do have to go back. I just want to make sure there's nothing hidden. Now we're chilling. Alright. Flying on home. See, I like, uh, if I'm going to have something like that, I'd rather have a goldfish. I'm a goldfish boy. White cheddar Cheez-Its? I haven't tried those. I love white cheddar. It does have a limit. Uh, it's funny. I could trace the whole box in eventually. But I can't do it in like one wave. You can only get like a third of the way in a single wave. Oh yeah, I canceled this. Because... We're going to now start converting iron into Doritos. Automatically. Okay, so we have an awful lot of shit. I might as well get to maximum drone there. It's not even maximum, goddamn. I don't have to upgrade any of that stuff. I'm gonna not send those two Doritos back yet, just in case this is like, oh no, we have fucking, we could repair with, whatever, we're sending Doritos forever. I'll never stop sending Doritos. I'm getting one more drill just because I think it's cool. And I am gonna send back one more, but not much more than that, because now we're gonna be turning our iron into Doritos, so. Stop. That's just so. Again, I'm in awe every time we finish a wave. I'm like, God damn, we're so strong. <laughs> we're so beefy. Yep. <laughs> 200 bucks now, fuck me. I love the strong emote. We, we, I feel like our emotes have gotten so fucking good. Our emotes are going great. My emote game feels very strong lately. I'm not even looking for it. I think I've gotten everything so far. I gotta check the left side again. I know, just let me keep upgrading my speed forever. We'll put them there. I'm gonna go back to normal spacing. One more. One, two, three, four, five. Let me check the left here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it really goes this way. And the drills were getting stuck, so they didn't get any of it. Oof. All right, did my part. <laughs> I did not see his BNG tuber, but I can imagine what it is. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Doritos back. I don't think I care to upgrade the drones anymore. They're gonna eventually get everything. I think I just use these resources on uh, like I'm only gonna do again one. I don't want to spend too much iron. I think since I'm turning into Doritos now, I have to be a little iron conscious. edge down. That beautiful tree. I love that tree. Ooh. Could be stuff in here. But there ain't. <laughs> Good to know. all that shit out. got stuck. Tree! I think. I gotta go back. Uh, let's put you down here. Let's put you down there. Oh, I'm going home. I'm going. I'm going. The drone boys are so good. Yeah, this trip takes an obscenely long time now. It sucks. This is a shit trip. No, oh God. Hey, brother. How am I not back yet? I left the moment it started telling me to go back. The Explorer just to subscribe. Okay, guys. Whew. Door of the Explorer. Uh, Door of the Exploder. Happy two months. Thank you.
Your ass ain't charging up. Are you kidding? There was a guy on my ship. I didn't even see him. I don't think I want to do other upgrades right now. Well, I think this is still low enough that it's worth doing a couple. Like, I think three upgrades there is good for the multiplier. It's worth it. We're going to do the right side this time. Let me trace the right side down too, I think. Maybe not the whole way, but let me just... No, we already checked all this middle shit. I know there's nothing in here. I don't know about all the wall, though. Gotta make sure. Clean that edge up. at the big void or maybe we just flew past the big void and grab these oh baby fly back. I thought there were some stuck ones, but those are apparently still going. Ah, I'm gonna set one up. Nope. Fuck, I fucked it. I fucked it. I'm gonna be late now. I'm gonna be late now. It doesn't know how slow I am. I don't know why. Like, I feel like that alarm telling me to go home means, oh, I should get there just in time, but I think I'm gonna be late. Yeah, I should be able to just hang on to one of them by the tentacles and get flown home. I wish the mushroom were more central. I gotta find where the mushroom is so I can get the mushroom more often. Well, this was actually not so bad. straight to the drills this time. Oh, you know what? Fuck, I want to find this goddamn mushroom. Let me see if I can. I don't think it was further than this. Like, I think it's got to be from here down. It's somewhere around here, but maybe it is in the section above. What could be in here? This shouldn't be. Ooh. That's why you check. I can't remember what biome mushroom was in. I don't think it was in blue, though. Was it above or below those? It was above those. Ain't no way. This is the round where I just look for a mushroom the whole fucking round, I bet. Maybe it was closer to the middle. And it's like... Maybe it was green? No, it's gotta be fucking lower. Because it wasn't, it wasn't too close to the middle. I know that much. Yeah, we're at the fucking middle. This is the round where I accomplish nothing. <laughs> I 
I think it was about this far in. Like, I should, if I just keep going down around here, I'm going to find it. Could it have been a little this way? I'm going to go down to, and then I'm going to go back to. We're going to weave around and find this mushroom. There, I, there's, where's the mushroom? Where the fuck's the mushroom? It wouldn't, it wasn't past the gap. I don't, I don't think. I don't think it was past the big air gap. I'm gonna lose my mind. I already have nothing to do now. It was, it's not this, right? That's not the mushroom. No. You think it's up this way? Maybe it is up this way. Maybe it's just so much higher than I thought. Now we're in the brown layer now. Maybe it's in the brown layer? Fuck, I gotta go back. That's where the seed was, and that's the top one. No, ain't no way the mushroom is to the left. I would lose my mind. I thought it would be like, it's gotta be right around here somewhere. Or it's like way to the right. Like maybe it's just like, maybe it's like out this way a little bit more. It's gonna be somewhere like out here and down. Let me check one more this way. I think I'm gonna run right into that shit here. It was right by this, I thought. I thought it was right by this fucking gadget. Hold on. Let me just do one little sweep around to this gadget. I don't see a goddamn thing. Like just a little to the right of where I am or a little to the right of the middle? I know you couldn't see it on your way down. So I was just not looking. What if I just saw it? of the crater, like, down here and to the right? Fuck, maybe it is. Hmm. There's these. So yeah, it would have been higher than those. Damn. Maybe it is on the left side, just outright. I could have sworn it was on the right, though. Like, it's blowing my mind that it's not on the, the right. I was so certain. You know I'm just going to do one of these on this. Alright, I put two on the same one. I don't want that. I'm going to check left side now on the way up. We, we've, we've come down on the left side before and never saw it. Ooh, one of these guys. I give him some water. Although I guess we don't need more collector guys. I'm going to go home. I'm just going to go home. Oh, that's it. A... 
I must find this goddamn mushroom. <laughs> it's my salvation. It lies in this mushroom. It is getting intense, I tell you. I'm still handling it just fine. Maybe it was by the tree. No, ain't no way it was by the tree. Ooh, we never got the eyeball. That'll help. I didn't even realize I never got that. I can't remember what my PB is. We'll see at the end of this. I know it's over 50k. I think I might have had an 80k or a 90k. I think I'm like rank 300, it said. Yeah, if I was missing shit like that, I would easily miss the mushroom. You know? Army go. Oh, I love them. Little kings. I'll dig that all out in a sec. Let me. Let me see if this does continue. Oh yeah. back. Yep, yep. I'll say, we have been losing a bit of health every turn. And that's scary. Maybe I heal with these Doritos. Especially since my ass is going to be late. You saw it on the right? Let's go. I knew it was on the right. <laughs> I am just going to go bam bam. Whew. 
me get that mushroom so you can see it from the middle, huh? Oh, man. That mushroom will let me get down and up very fast for like one wave. <laughs> oh, there it is. It is closer to the middle than I thought it was. We are deep. You know, no, I'll get all those. Let me put these back to like a normal ish spacing. Especially now that I can see so far. Oh, we're like at the bottom, bottom. You've almost mined everything. Yeah, the drills will get to this stuff. Let me go up here. Sent that shit flying. <laughs> I can see forever. Fuck, I gotta go back already. God damn. It's like a quarter of the bar. It's crazy. No longer under the influence of mushroom. <laughs> the Gurkis. I like the Gurkis. I would go to the three ring Gurkis. Let me just fly my happy ass down, like here. Just make sure nothing's gotten left behind. Now we're chilling. Okay. 
I'm getting a lot, a lot of stuff here. I keep an eye on the timer though. Yep. I gotta go back. <laughs> it takes too long. I'm moving those next turn. my longest runs I've ever streamed, I think. That's for sure. I'm certain about that. Sorry, I'm like so insanely in the zone right now. God damn. So, an endless run? I mean, shit. Yeah, I'm like, I'm at least three and a half hours into this endless run. Typically, the game when you're just playing like normal game mode, they're like 30 minutes to an hour. I think on average. Oh, no mushroom. All the challenge modes I did were roughly an hour to an hour and a half at most. But most of them are uh, shorter. I also do a lot of yapping. Yapping and taking breaks and all that. Here, all the... We have reached the bottom bottom, so... Yeah, your score doubles when you leave. No. I gotta go back. Man, it's gonna be late. Unless the mushroom's there on the way. 
Which it could be. I'm praying it is. I might get a little fucked up. Oh my god, it is. I flew past it too. God, even with it, I'm so late. Chill, bud. God damn. Get the multiplier up. Oh, wave forty five. <laughs> Wave 45. An unbelievable thing. I mean, not 45. I think I've been definitely this deep. But I don't know how much deeper than this. In terms of uh, waves. Yeah, that makes sense that that immediately hit walls. Nothing hiding. Getting every single resource off this map. Ooh. Yeah, there's. I don't think there's any resources left, uncovered at least. I think we'll have mined this whole map. And that feels like an accomplishment. I do have to head back in a moment, so I can't even get more stuff on the other side, I don't think. Make sure nothing else is down here. Let me check the drills quick, because they might already be stuck already. Yep. Yes, you are. I'm going to fly my happy ass home. Left a little early, but I think that's better safe than sorry. And I think I'm at a point now that I'm going to start keeping the amount of resources I need to bail out on hand. Which is, I think, 30 iron and 4 Dorito. My burger opinions, I love them. <laughs> that's about it. Body pots! Happy three years, thank you. Put suggest to subscribe take me to Gucci Murche like a Durga to the female of my loot. Gucci? Take me to Gucci. Thank you. Thank you so much, Potty Pots. Welcome back. Start getting this orb big.
No, sir. Ah, I love this. Thank you. I think I'm going to go back to infinite iron production soon here. And just get a big stockpile of iron going. No mushroom. I gotta check the far left side. There might still be stuff for me to mine over there. I guess there's no more gadgets or anything. I simply got them all. I thought there was another. But could be wrong. I'm gonna just take a look out this way real quick. traced out everywhere, which looks like it is. No secrets, nothing hiding in any corners. Nope. I genuinely think we might just have everything except for the stuff that like spawns on trees. Let's go look out here. There's got to be some unmined stuff we just haven't hit that the drills found a while ago. Maybe not, though. <laughs> Maybe we just simply have gotten everything. I have to remember where the trees are. Yeah, like this one. I'll leave these to the drones so that I have something useful to do. Hey. I guess I'll fly up uh, on this side and just take a look around the whole way. Exactly that on the a little bit right to the right of me already. Big void area. Now there ain't nothing. So I have to stop Dorito production and start iron production again. I could also just set it so that we have less time between rounds, but I also do like moving the things every round and trying to simply dig the entire map out. This is fun. It's fun to try, I think. Yeah, I'll do that. Extra drones. I never ever overcharge and I should. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> Let's see another day. Doing well, doing well. I think, I think if I can push this a few more waves, I will crush my high score. And that would make me very happy. Mushroom time. Let me, uh... I'll head down on this fucking side, I guess. I don't, I don't know where to like look anymore for stuff. I just don't think there's any stuff left. We've got all this stuff. There's gotta be stuff hiding somewhere, though, right? There's gotta be some stuff I missed.
There's only really four of these, huh? I don't know why I thought there were five. stuff in here. A development. Yo. I have to come back here. I have a little bit of time to get all this. I'm not going to risk it. The drone army is on the way. Here they come. I'm heading back. Yeah, shit's kind of close, even. I think we do one more Dorito in the Dorito maker. Christ. They're still alive. Oh, this thing. Jesus. Alright. Get that multiplier up a little bit more. We're, I think, one more round survival, and I've beaten my on stream high score. But I think I need a couple more rounds after that to beat my general high score. Oh boy, what a run. This has been a, a run of all time. I think this will probably be my like final foray into Endless with this character for a bit. This feels like my, uh, this feels like my final boss for now. Okay, there was still stuff to dig out. How did I grab both of these? I don't understand. Are there not two? What the fuck happened? I don't understand. Whatever. Let me go down here and get that other stuff that I found. I want to see if this goes any further, but I should just dig it for now. It's 30 iron and 2 Doritos to leave. I 
I have a feeling there's nothing else down here, but I gotta make sure. Alright, we're good. Give <laughs> those room to keep going. Didn't I have five of these? No, I think I'm losing it. I'm flying home. <laughs> I could stop full clearing and uh, just make the wave shorter. But I feel like it's not as fun. Yo, what's up, Murphy? My ass thinking I was gonna play Dome Keeper for an hour or two today and switch to something else. This is uh, a little rough, not gonna lie. Uh oh, didn't see you down here, bud. Oh. Hey, G on the docket? Maybe, maybe. Yo, what's up, Luke? I'm gaming my ass off. I never game so hard. I would play a little Geo yesterday. I like to stay sharp on it. I think new season started today too, or like new new week. Whew. Yeah. Hook. Those are still going on the sides, it says, which is crazy. I do want to go investigate the sides and just see what's going on out there. <laughs> yeah, I just don't think there's a whole lot out here. If anything else. Yeah, there ain't shit. Ah, uh, this is, uh, something. <laughs> It's gonna make this tunnel a little wider. I think it'd be nice to just full clear. I should be stopping by the Dorito tree more often, like the, the little thing that just spawns two of them. I don't know where that is. 
I gotta find where that is and remember. Should have left some landmarks for you. Like arrows or something, you know. Could have been pointing at that shit with an arrow. Spend anything. So I'm just gonna fight. You know what? We overload the drones so we get more of them. Doing much better this way. on this wave. Folks, it's time. Connect here and go back. <laughs> I'm be absolutely certain there's no hidden pockets in this. Oh, my beautiful tree. I think if I pick it, maybe it drops them early. Replay is gonna look so nice. So I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. <laughs> it's really, uh, I don't know, it's just really pleasant. attack, I guess. I'll start making a big orb here.
this fucker is on me. Did you notice the... Yeah, I think I might. It's fun to go for a full clear. <laughs> Why not, right? No, I'm gonna look, I'll look on my phone while I'm digging. Huh? <laughs> that is so good. I love that day. <laughs> I never seen this kind of bad wood. No, I didn't overload them that round. I think that does make a big difference. I do think I'm going to be hitting the point soon, though, that I, I'm going to have to just leave. No panic. I think I've definitely beaten my high score now. At least my on stream one. I don't know if I've beaten my actual high score yet. I'm gonna keep rolling with this one for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna come in on this one. I'm afraid of getting stuck and having to fly back. Am I anywhere near the drills to move them? Don't have a lot of time, but... Could move those drills a bit. Wow, I was not nearly as deep as I thought I was. Jesus Christ. The fuck? I'm bringing this one all the way home. This one's coming with me. You know, I'm gonna leave that there for one second. Nah, I know what I'm I do want to see if I could find where the uh, Doritos are. There's a Dorito spawn somewhere. I think it's this one actually. I think it's right there. But they just haven't respawned yet. On a very long respawn timer. It's fun. It's nice. Forgot to overcharge, but I got it. Went in and did it.
Yeah, this is definitely, that's where the Doritos spawn, 100%. Which means there should be a water one down here somewhere, I think. That's where I left the drill. Look at it go. We love our drill. Yeah. Definitely new high score. Pretty sure. I, I can't remember what my off-stream high score was, but I'm hoping this beats it. Because I want to beat my high score. It'd be cool. <laughs> this is very satisfying to do. It really does. I'm pressure washing the level. <clears throat> I should probably fly back now. That felt nice though. <laughs> felt nice to do. How are these? Did they get stuck at all yet? Now they are chilling. <laughs> it's fairly new. It's been an alert for a long time. Yo, <laughs> oh, thank you. Aw. That handsome boy. repeat so that we can get a few more Doritos going. Overcharge it. Oh my god. 
goodness. Oh, it did spend a Dorito, huh? Damn. Wild stuff. No. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to get to full clear this. I'll never make it in time. I think I'll have to leave before I get there. Huge void, I love it. Eh, this might take me too long to go back up to the top. I think you can. I don't know if it makes it grow any faster, but you, you can pick it before it falls off. I should go do that. There could be stuff there on the left hidden. I just noticed that. I should just check real quick while I'm here. It's a long trip back. There's nothing hidden. There's stuff in here too. What the fuck? Oh, I was really hoping it would be. I think my ass has got to fly home at this point. I don't have much time. Well, the Dorito tree should be like right over here. Right? It's further up. Oh my god, the drill is going to kill the Dorito tree. If I didn't already kill it. I forgot I let a drill loose up here. I just let a drill loose on this shit. Whew. Oh yeah, no, it would just be leaving. There'd be no healing. I am real short on time. Let me get back there. Yeah, it might just be leaving time. Can I force an early heal? With uh... No, you can't. So it uses all your cobalt first and then it heals with health? I hate that. Wish it didn't do that. See, I think we might just have to leave. Or, I use those two heals and try to make two Doritos. That's so fucking dicey. Either way, let's start making Doritos. And let's just see how we do. I didn't overload drones. Which is dicey. Yeah, I think we gotta go. I think we gotta go. I think it is time to go. Ooh. Crazy run. Sixty-three. Sixty-three K. New personal best. Mr. Seven uh two seventy two they call me. Damn. Folks, are you ready to watch the world's longest replay? Why do I still hear stuff hitting me? Is that a thousand monsters killed? Holy. Oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. It's gonna be so beautiful. 
You know what, let me hit save now because it's going to take a long time to save this. It's going to be a long save. This will be a fun upload. We're looking forward to uploading this one. Oh, what a beautiful time lapse. <laughs> Look at how long it's taking just to save this this gif. It is the longest, biggest gif. It's trying its best. <sighs> Not the widest map I've ever had. Very narrow at the top. Uh, cool map though, all the same. <laughs> I know. I feel like a bug. Ooh, that sounds good as hell. Love some salmon. <laughs> Do you see that single node on the top right? I wonder if I ever found that, or if that one little node is always there on the top right. This one right here. <laughs> we'll see if we ever get it. Oh, we got it! Yes, yes! And I, I remember getting this one. This is our tree right here. Doing the mushroom hunt. Yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful. Simply beautiful. These gaps are like natural caves. We haven't even started outlining the map yet. There we go. Damn, I barely went down with that. <laughs> I love to outline my dome a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We're getting near the end. That was my last trip down, I think. There it is. We did quite a bit of mining there. That was a five-ish hours dome, keep dome keeper run. Holy. Oh. <laughs> God. New high score, though. Yeah, I already started doing them, Knuckle. The shame is that they all the challenges are the same, it's just the waves of monsters are harder. No, I actually I had two runs before this one, but they both ended very quickly, I think. No, I had one longish run. That just wasn't very good, I think. 
Oh, God. Five hours of incredible dome. Oh, uh. Hold up, hold up. I like letting this just play a little. And I'm trying to see if I'm um, maybe playing a little bit of uh, magic. Taco! Hey! Hi, Mr. Kitty. Uh, you swerved me. Boba! Both cats, can you believe this? Neither. They're just without, just out of reach. Oh, God. What a, what a day. What a day. But yeah, I just need like a few minutes after that. <laughs> I'm actually, let me hit the ads and get rid of the pre rolls, okay? We're gonna hit the ads and get rid of the pre-rolls while I just sit here and drink water and like think about how long that run was. <laughs> I am going to hit the button. Aw, Boba. Oh, sweetie. Alright, seen a few. Gonna drink some water. I love this just little void hole there. Okay. Bang it. Drank the whole bottle, plastic and all. Swallowed it down. <laughs> oh boy, I can't believe that run. 